Hi, my name is Paul Grogan and welcome to the fourth video in the series which is going to teach you how to play Agamonia. Right, so this afternoon I'm joined by Paul Hello. and Pete Hi. and yet yeah, we're going to be continuing our playthrough series. As with the other videos there are going to be some spoilers today but the spoilers are only going to kick in once we actually play the scenario. So if you are looking to learn how to play the game after the first three tutorials, watch the first part of this video where we cover what happens in the city. Uh, and then maybe you want to stop watching when we actually play through the scenario. So after the first three tutorials, we have arrived in Roondale, which is here. And this is where the campaign starts proper. We're going to have a choice of which scenarios we're going to do. Um, we're going to level up our characters gradually over a period of time. And yeah, we are beyond the tutorial stage now. <laughs> Although saying that, there are some extra things that we are going to we are going to learn today. Um, so one thing that happened at the end of the previous adventure, we all had a vision. At that point, we all turned to our little books and we read through the first bit, which we're not going to read through for you today. Um, it does actually say in here that you can read these out if you want to or you can keep them secret and let other people um, you know, guess at what you saw. We're not, no, we're not gonna read them out today, but one thing that we all gained after that vision is we all gained a unique item. So I've gained the Conch of Bacora. Uh, and let me just have a quick look at my book because there's something special about this item. You notice at the top, it's got one star, mm -hmm. no possible three stars. This item is going to upgrade itself gradually over the course of the campaign mm. so this nice. at some point this will be replaced by a two-star version and then replaced by a three-star version so this is my special item that i've got once per scenario i can teleport five so nice. that's, that's that's pretty that's good, good, good isn't it, isn't it? yeah that that's pretty good. good yeah pete what did you see in your vision in my vision um <laughs> i suddenly have a pet okay uh, i've got a little um four-legged creature called nalam and it's got its own little figure Mm -hmm. uh, and that figure can, uh, I can bring it on, to, I think it lives in my pocket, although it has to be quite a big pocket. Um, it, it, I can put it onto the map or take it off the map if I share a space. Yep. Um, but also I can move it up to two spaces and right. it's got to provoke. So if an enemy, if it's in sharing a space with an enemy and the enemy moves off, then the enemy gets, damage. gets damaged. Okay. Nice. Uh, and what did Jonai get? So Jonai um, has an ethereal crown. Okay, which uh, gives me protection against a magic attack against okay. me. So if there's a magic attack against me, I gain one shield. Right. And, yep, and that's upgradable. Have we had any times. magic attacks against us? Not against Not, us. Yes. I don't think we have. There's no friendly fire from the... Uh, no. From, from, that the might, from the Toggle. Got a feeling that might be about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, so we left Scenario 3 behind. Yeah, and uh, if you haven't watched Scenario 3, if you haven't watched the third video in the series... Definitely go and watch it. I won't spoil it, but it was one of the most tensest finish to a game ever. So we have arrived in Roondale. So once your heroes have completed the three tutorial scenarios, your heroes arrive in Roondale and the full Agamonia campaign begins. During the campaign, your heroes will explore the city of Roondale and the world of Agamonia, attempt challenging scenarios, interact with various factions and write their own story of adventure. So we have a rules reference, which we haven't needed to look at before. But before you start playing scenario four, you will need the rules reference, which I had somewhere there. Right. So the rules reference book. Now, a lot of the rules that are in here, we've already covered because mm -hmm. you've learned how to play them. But you definitely need to have a good read through this before you actually start playing. Now, the rule book looks really big, but actually the back half of the rule book is a full explanation of all of our actions and all of the equipment and everything else. So it isn't as big as it actually looks. Anyway, you've got a rules reference. We also have the campaign rules. It says, as your heroes are now level one, now read up to the level one section. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, we'll arrive in Roondale first. Mm. We'll settle ourselves in and then we will each turn to our individual storybook and read the level one section from that. Okay. Uh, so we are all out now level one. We have to set up the stock and the archive. So all of the items in the game that our heroes have knowledge of mm. are placed in what's called the stock. Everything that we don't know about is placed in the archive. So there's a huge pile of items included in the game. Wow. This is item numbers 1 to 73. So there are multiples of certain items. Items 1 to 73 go in what's called the stock. 
and there are plastic trays for you to store these in, but I'm just going to put them off camera. Then we have the archive, which is item card 74 and onwards. So don't look at them. Okay. Now, if we ever find somebody that sells one of these cards, we move it from here into the stock. Okay. Right. So we're allowed to look at the stock. We we can look at the stock, but we, we don't really need to. We'll okay. we'll look at it when, when we need to. But things that we know about are in, are in, in the there. stock. Yeah, okay. We also have two decks. So we have a city event deck and a world event deck. Every time we are in the city, so every between every scenario, we will resolve one card from the city event deck. That one, is it? Sorry, this one, yes. If we do an adventure that's outside, then on the way there, we'll get a world event. Yeah, okay. Now, we have to set this deck up. So the, the instructions are very specific. What you do is you take the deck, you invert it, and you flip it, right? And the reason for that is in the top left is a little number. Okay. So you don't accidentally see what uh, the card is. Okay. So we nice. need to take out cards 1 to 22, which uh, is those. And then, depending on the characters, we add in extra ones. So Jonai is 27. So we're going to add that in. Uh, Matajam is 29. So we add that in. And Zubasai, the mighty, is 32. So that is our city event deck, which we are going to use over the course of this campaign. Nice shuffle, right. So we'll okay. give that a shuffle. Yeah. And we then have a world event deck where we do exactly the same. Now, I'm not going to do that today because mm. I know today we're not going to need the world event deck but you would do exactly the same with the world event. So each of us has a card in here, which is specific to us. Right. So we're just going to move that off camera because, yeah, we won't need that. We won't need that today, but we will need the city event today. So we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Party journal, right. If you had the mutated land in your party journal, I don't know how you get that, no. but if we'd done something bad, <laughs> <laughs> then we would add an extra world event card into the world event deck. Right. Now, I'm not going to go through these in detail, but in Runedale, there are 10 factions, two nobility, two politics, two philosophy, two crime and two faith. Mm -hmm. Each one is opposite. And what you do is you track your reputation with these different factions, and that's going to unlock certain bonuses during the game. Now, there's two ways you can do that. And when you're playing the game, you want to read through all of this flavor I'm not going to read through it today, but there is a nice bit of flavour about each one. What I'm going to do is we're going to flip this over. So we are now in Roomdale, and we flip this board to the other side. And this is, so we have the city of Roomdale here. The letters are different locations that we can visit. The purple gems are adventures. So there are a number of adventures, mm. a number of scenarios in Roomdale mm. itself. This is where you track your reputation. Now, the game comes with stickers so that you can put stickers on, but there is an app as well. So you don't have to use the app to play the game, but you could. And there is a way in here. If I go into the right bit, it's there. So you can track all of the achievements that we've all got. You can track your keywords that you've done. Yeah. Uh, so I think Toggle Whisperer was in here or something was in here anyway. Legionary saved because we saved Legionary, yes. didn't we? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And we've got a letter of recommendation. So it tracks that. And reputation, this is where you can track your reputation with the different factions. Now, whenever you reach that point of reputation with one of them, it blocks out the other one. The other one no longer, uh, okay. you can't, you, yep. they don't like you anymore yep. Yep. because you've become good because friends. Because you're so good with those, right. But yeah, various things will happen as your mm. reputation increases over the course of the, okay. the campaign. That's nice. Um, so yeah, so there's different factions that you can interact with. What we've then got is in this book, this is level one. So when we are level one, these are the different locations that we can interact with. Now, those, they were, those, were the with ones. those correspond to the letters. Yeah. So okay. before going any further, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this. So this is the second reference card that comes with the game. You have a city step during which we will do all of this after a non-arena scenario. We'll go into arena scenarios probably in the next video. Once you've done the city step, you then do a journey step, 
And then after the journey step, you do a scenario. Mm. And that is how the campaign plays out. So it's a city step, which is either that if it was a non-arena scenario or that if it was an arena scenario, then the journey step, and then you do a scenario. So we did a non-arena scenario, which means we go through all of this in the city. Essentially, the first thing we do is we place our action selection marker in the disturbed sleep location. What this means is if we don't find somewhere to sleep by the end of this city step, mm -hmm. we're going to lose two stamina. And the way that that is represented in the game is we're going to place our action selection markers in the disturbed sleep location. And if we do find somewhere to sleep, we move it. You can move it. We move it somewhere yeah. different. Yeah. Um, then if we have gained enough experience to gain a level, we gain a level. Now, to go up to level two, we need two experience points. I'll go through how you get them in a minute. If since your last city step you have gained enough reputation, we haven't, mm. we, we would do something else. So then what we do is we visit city locations, use services and sell items. And we can do this. We can go to as many locations as we want, however many times we want. After we've done as many of that as we want, we do a city event. And then after the city event, we each have two city activity points to spend. And there's various things that we can do with those city activity points that I'll go into later. And we can also use city locations again. So basically the city locations can be used before the city event or after the city event. After we've done all of that, if we haven't found somewhere nice to sleep, we lose two stamina. So let's talk about stamina and conditions and things like that. During the city step and the journey step, we may lose stamina mm. and we may gain various conditions. These have no impact whatsoever during the city step or the journey step. So if you gain a condition, it actually doesn't affect you at all. If you lose any stamina, that doesn't affect you at all. But everything that you gain in the city and journey step goes with you into the scenario. So at the end of a scenario, yes. yeah. you go back to full health and you lose all of your conditions. But anything we gain now is going to go with us into the next scenario. So we don't want to be, we, we do want to get some sleep. Basically, we want to get some sleep, otherwise, yeah. we're going to lose yeah. two stamina. Yeah, but getting a good night's sleep might not be easy. So, what I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna read all the flavor text here because there's a lot. What I am gonna read is I'm gonna read this introduction here. And again, if you are using the app, there is a there is a, narr a narrated version of it. Uh, one of the best things about the narrated version is it means you don't have to struggle with the pronunciation of some of the things. <laughs> so, we're gonna read this. Uh, let's press this one here. So, it's Greek month. The street corners are lush with budding flowers as Greek month begins in the city of Roondale. You arrive through the southern gates, facing a giant snake statue and hearing horrible screeching sounds from beyond the river. You immediately realise the noise is coming from Skyrender, the ages-old tower which Iron bid you seek. Yeah, we got in the vision, it said, go and... Because we, we unlocked a scenario, didn't we? The Vault of the Ancients. I think, yeah, that's Skyrender Tower. Oh. So we've got the key to, the Sky, to Sky Render Tower. Ooh. Anyway, mm. other Ambergate refugees arri uh, arrive soon after you, some of whom have been to Roondale before. They tell you that House Gramask... So I said I wasn't going to go over all of the factions. House Gramask is the one that rules the city, but they're not doing a very good job. Nobility. Apparently. All right? Uh -huh. They tell you that House Gramask keeps very little order and the city is ravaged by two crime gangs known as the Shroud and the Sable Crown. You should be wary of pickpockets and muggers. Some say this is the fault of House Penarch, who are rival to the Gramasks, who have willfully weakened Roondale's ruling family. The city is abuzz with priests, merchants, cosmographers, guards, criminals, entertainers, warlocks and travellers. Most of the inhabitants are Nitigri. Now, who are the Nitigri? Is that... That's not you, you're Patangan, aren't you? I can't remember who the Nitigri are. I think I'm a Nitigri. No, you're you're of unknown racial origin. Nobody quite knows ah, that's, who you are yeah, or where you're from. That's true. Um, anyway, but there are also plenty of Patangans and Corallians, mostly working menial jobs. The southern secular bank of the river is where you will spend most of your time. You can buy food and herbs and the round market, weapons and armour at the Agura Anvil, and eat, drink and lodge at the ravenous Gouvrin. Gouvrin, Gouvrin. If you cross the river to the Exalted Bank, you can buy tools, bags and fish at Angler's Pier, or visit the Temple of the Fifth Eye for healing. So begins Grick Month in Roondale. 
So at level one, we have access to these five locations. As we gain levels and we go through more parts of the book, the locations that we go to change. So these are the locations for level one. Yep. When we get to level two, it will be different locations. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you have legionary saved in your party journal, yes. you must visit the ravenous goven at the start of your first city step. Mm -hmm. And again, there's extra bits of flavor from different characters that you will meet. I'm not going to read it today just to save time, but definitely read through it when you're playing it because it's quite nice flavor. So the five locations, again, I'm not going to explain all of them in detail, but essentially the ravenous Goovran is where we can rent a room. So for two money, we can place our action selection marker on that pub, which means we've got a good night's sleep. And the first time we visit this location, we have to read something in the storybook. Now, we have to go here anyway because, because we saved at the start of your first city set. So let's do that now. When yeah. you say we, are we doing this together? We right? are together. Right. Yes. We are attached together with chains and ropes. <laughs> so uh, we go here. So this is the this is the, the pub. And if you have legionary saved in your party journal, read 50. Okay. All right. So storybook. <clears throat> Can I take a life jacket into the pub with me after what happened last time? <laughs> right. 50. <laughs> you have found a home for the old Togrel legionary in the stables of the ravenous Guvran. The beast has seen its fair share of action with Shantor and seems like it could use some rest. You agree with the landlord that the stable boys can use it to help with some light work at the tavern in exchange for its care. It rubs its snout on your face as you say goodbye for now. When he is in better shape, you might be able to take him with you on your travels once again. Cool. So it doesn't. So nothing happens, but it doesn't tell us to cross off legionary saved. No. So at some point in future, could be carrying stuff. It, it's gonna. It's gonna come back. Mm. Anyway, let's read this. So yeah. So the first time we visit this location, we read story four, five, six. So there are actually some some further questions here that we don't meet. Correct, because if, if you saved Birdie, if we saved other things. Which we didn't. Right. Okay. We didn't save Birdie, did we? No. No. <clears throat> no. Um, so if you have Birdie saved, we no. could have done that. If you okay. had Birdie stored, we could have done that. So right. it was only okay. that one yep. that we did. Okay. Fine. Okay. Four, five, six. In the common room, you see a group of night eye commoners arguing in hushed tones. They get up and march out of the inn, leaving just one frustrated man wearing a moon silver earring. The innkeeper whispers that the man consorts with strange swords and has been heard talking of forbidden gods. The mysterious man sips his cheap wine and then notices you. He flashes a, pen, a pleasant smile and invites you to his table. The stars shine on me today for I have met you, he says. The name's Kalen, and I'm a little short of good help and I have a job for you if you're interested. Nothing illegal, nay, just guarding a warehouse for one night a couple of days hence. Easy money, just don't fall asleep. So that unlocks scenario four. So scenario four is now unlocked. We can now choose to do that scenario if we want to. Mm -hmm. And that is the one we're going to do today. Right. But okay. you could actually choose now between scenario four or scenario six. Right. That's not on the camera, but yeah. No, it's not. Angler's Pier. Right. So again, flavour takes, which I'm not going to read today, but there are two services here. There's Liana's Leather Goods where we can buy small backpack, medium backpack, and large backpack. We'll get these items out in a minute. Or we can, <clears throat> uh, tools and equipment, we can buy a torch, a shovel, a crowbar, a pickaxe, a hand axe, or some more hook and rope, if we need to. And the first time we visit this location, we read 306. So let's read 306. 306, right. Uh, the pickpockets, cheats, and hoodlums of Angler's Pier all seem to report a Patangan man with long, erect, red dorsal fins, a flamboyant staff, and a belt decorated with skulls. His pet is like a slimy, moving shadow, crawling at his feet and growling at you. For some reason, the man approaches you. He introduces himself as Tan Gunagil. Now, that name is familiar to me, so I'm just going to go back to here. Tan Gunagil, he's the local Shroud boss. So one of the crime mm. families or crime factions in this area, Tan Gunagil is actually the head of the Shroud in Roomdale. So he's the guy who's speaking to us. 
You fine folks seem like you have a stout heart and a liver brave enough to handle yourselves in the wilderness. I need some mushrooms to be brought to me from an abandoned moon silver mine, and these city vermin are of no use for that. What do you say? We'll split the profits 50 50. Oh, yes, they're quite large, so best to bring something to carry them in. Mm -hmm. Liana has some cheap backpacks, I think. That is scenario five. So when you're playing the campaign, you will have those three scenarios to choose from. Mm. Um, well, as I say, we're gonna we're gonna do scenario four today, but you would have normally those three to choose from. Now, one thing that's important about these scenarios is whether there is a star underneath them. If there's a star underneath it, you will gain one experience point for doing that scenario. Whether you succeed or fail, you will right. get an experience point. Okay. And you need mm. two experience points to level up. To yes. level up. Mm. So I'll give you a bit of a hint. We're going to do this scenario today. And then next week, we're going to do this one. <laughs> and then at the end of next week's video, we will level, level up to level two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can still do this one if you want to. And there are good reasons why you want to, but it's not worth any experience points. Right. So move that over there, move that to here. The Cave of Happiness sounds great. Yeah, that's lovely. Hey. Well, off license. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> Angler's Pier, there's things that we can do there with our city activity points as well, but basically we can go shopping. There's the round market where we can buy blight cap mushrooms or star lotuses for money. Again, more flavour here. There's the Agura Anvil uh, where there is a weaponsmith where we can buy daggers, bows and swords, wooden shields, helmets and leather armour. Also, if you have the letter of recommendation... Which I think we do. I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah. Do you remember having the letter of recommendation? I think we got it from saving. Sounds familiar, but I can't. Okay. Well, I've. I've... No, I yeah, no, we did because I wrote it. I wrote it in the journal. We yeah. do have it. Mm. You helped Aura. Uh, you, you helped Aurora Karain's brother Ares in Ambergate, and he gave you this letter of recommendation. Aurora Karain reads it and thanks you for the help that you gave her brother. Truly, the stars shone upon my brother the day he met you. Heaven protect and welcome to Runedale. Please visit my workshop any time you feel like it. We've been making the best weapons and armour in all of Benham for generations. I will give you a special discount mm. for helping Ares. So we cross out the letter of recommendation. So I'm actually going to do this You're going to do that now. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do it in the app. Normally you just use a piece of paper, but we're going to cross out the letter of recommendation. We no longer have that. But instead... We write Agora Anvil Discount 1. So we have... <laughs> First level discount. Yeah, Agora Anvil Discount 1. We basically get a discount of one star on every item bought from mm. here. Okay. Uh, until we reach level 2. And then, it, and then it might be different. Get to level 2. Right. So that's the Agora Anvil. And finally, there's the Temple of the Fifth Eye. So at the Temple of the Fifth Eye, again... More flavour takes, which is really nice, but we're going to skip it for today. You can actually spend a city activity point or two stars to heal. Uh, okay. Either two stamina and one damage, or you can discard an injury. Now, none of us have an injury, no. but if you remember from last time, if you do get wounded, you get an injury. Mm -hmm. You've just about avoided it. Yes. Um, injuries carry with you from one scenario to another. So that, that's how you so heal healing injuries. would bring back the eight is that correct no no it's no. taking a wound so card. if you got wounded during yes. a scenario yeah you would get a random injury yeah. card injury at the next scenario that that goes back but the injury stays with you so right. you always restore that back okay. to that okay but the injury carries on okay but that's one way that we can heal injuries okay so that's a quick whistle stop tour before we do any of that, we've got our own journals. So we're going to read these now, and I will fast forward the video while we're reading them. But essentially, you have your own little story in here, and it's a little mini Choose Your Own Adventure book. So we're all now going to be playing our own little game as we read our little story mm. um, and doing stuff. Right. Okay. okay. Actually, I am going to explain this bit. So... As part of my story, I'm doing a test. Now, if you remember, when we play the game normally, these icons mean that you can spend stamina to gain successes. Yeah. However, 
in the city step and the journey step, whenever you roll that, it's a plus two. So you don't have to okay. spend that. That is a that is a plus that, two. Anyway. That is a plus two, two successes. That okay. is two successes. All right. Okay. So we've all read our level one sections of the book. And one other thing I want to mention is while we're in the city, at any time, except during the middle of an event, we can sell items. So every circular item token you've got is worth one money. And you can sell it for one money. Every triangular token you've got is worth three. Every pentagonal one is worth five. Basically, they are the exact same size as the money tokens. These are the money tokens included in the game. And it's exactly the same size token. So it gives you an indication. So that's the same as the fives. If you get any big circular ones, they're worth 10. If you get any big square ones, they're worth 20. So it's quite a nice system that they've got for. Yep. Uh, and during that um, little individual stories that we did, Pete sold one of his uh, Agura crystals, which was worth five because he needed some extra money. Uh, also, yes, your items can be sold for the, the money that's listed on them. Right. So we've not done the city event yet. We've still got all of these places to go to. And, and we've got two city action points, haven't we? That comes afterwards. So right. after we've done the city event, we then each get two city activity points ah, right. to spend doing things. OK, so let's just have a, a summary of what we can do. We can pay two stars to spend the night at the inn. That's two stars each. Two stars each. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay because I think that is the only place at the moment where we can spend the night. So, so we can do all of these things. We can do all of these things in any order as many yeah. times as we want. Okay. So technically what should happen is we should place our... We're not going to bother doing it, but what you should do is you should place that here. That means you're getting a disturbed night's sleep. And because I've paid too money, I now move that to here to say that I'm spending the night in the inn. Okay, so yeah, we're not going to do that today because just because we've got this in place. But I've spent two money, so can anybody lend me any money, please? But if you don't do Have that, you got, it means got that one you, penny. If you don't do that, it means that you start the next scenario with, you lose two, you. Stamina, with, lose with two. two stamina down for a bad night's sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to pay two. I'm tempted to just to say, well, I'll start. You've got my figure. Have you? I mean, You've got loads of things that could be sold for money. Yeah, I, I know, but I like my money. I, I'll go on then. I'll, I'll, I'll set. I'll. You, do you need some money? Uh, no. Um. So. Okay. I, I pay for him. Sorry. Oh, right. have you? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we've all paid for a good night's sleep, right? Yeah. yeah. So things that we can do. We can buy items. So let's get some, let's get some items out. So we need item card 25, 27, and 29. Right, so what these items are, are backpacks. So we have a small backpack, we have medium backpacks, and we have a large backpack. So this here is a requirement. So you have to have a mite of one to buy this, a mite of two to buy this, and a mite of three to buy this. And what it does is it increases the number of mm. slots that you mm. can have. So I don't think any of us needs that at the moment, but they are there. We, we can buy them. Uh, also, we can buy from Liana's shop uh, some tools and equipment. So we can buy a torch, a shovel and a crowbar. So we have the torch there. Five. And the crowbar is item card seven. Right. So now we've already got a torch. and We've already got a shovel, but we can we can buy more. You can never have too many shovels. That is true. Uh, also from her, we can buy a pickaxe, a hand axe, and a hook and rope. So a pickaxe, a hand axe, and hook and rope. So they are all of the items that we can buy from here. We've got the blight cap mushrooms and the star lotuses that we can buy from here. And then from here, I'm going to read out the item numbers. You can see them. Five. Uh, sorry, uh, item oh, card 10, 10, 10, 15, and 9. 10, 15, and 9. Okay. 15. Right, and also armour. 
18, 19, 17. 18, 19, and 17. Right, so I'm just going to move all of these to here, and let's show these things. So this is a sword. So one-handed item that gives you plus one success. We've got a dagger. One-handed item doesn't give you any bonus to success. Uh, and a bow. Which has got a ranged weapon, so it's ranged one to three. Uh, these things in the bottom right are things that you can do to improve that later on. So you can fire fancy arrows from this and you can attach some mm. kind of potion or poison or something like that to it. Uh, also, in this shop, there is some leather armor, which is like really expensive. I think it's normally 15, but we get a discount of one. So it's 14 <laughs> for us. Um, but this is any time you are doing a reactive might check to avoid taking damage, yeah. you get one yeah, some bonus sure. success. Mm, nice. I think this is Paul in the editing room, just to confirm that I did make a mistake when explaining the leather armour. It's every time you're making a might reactive check, then if you roll that particular symbol, which is shown on the card, then that counts as one success. So normally those symbols don't get you anything, but if you're wearing the leather armour, then those symbols count as one shield if you're making a might reactive check. We have a helmet, which is every time you are doing a... Uh, willpower. willpower reactive check if you roll that icon then you can re-roll the die and the wooden shield so the wooden shield is a discard it's a one use item <clears throat> so you can discard it whenever you are doing a might or an agility check and it's a reactive check you get plus three shields but yeah it's it's a one use item Paul again in the editing room and just to clarify that with the shield you have to actually choose whether you want to use it before you roll your dice. So if you get hit in combat or something like that and you're about to make a reactive check you may discard the shield to get three successes before you roll the dice. Okay. So these are all of the things that we can buy with the very little money that we've got. Although I do have two blood crystals which I don't know if I'm that bothered about keeping them. These are worth five. Do they each. give you stamina back? So no, blood no. crystals, whenever I'm doing a magic attack, I can discard that to get one extra dice, uh. which could be great. Mm. But at the moment, mm. with money being quite tight... Yeah. So, that's what we can do. Okay. Has anybody got anything that they want to... I'm broke. They want uh, to sell. I can't afford it, but like, I'm just looking we, to see... We've got a hand axe there. Yeah. But can we can we sell these? We can. They've got they've got a cash value on them. Right. But your great axe is, is really my, good. My great axe is giving me a plus one. It is two handed. It is. And I was just looking at the sword. That's a single hand. It's a single one. hand. But so the sword is be... going to cost us eleven. Oh. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> and that's different. So things are a little yeah. bit expensive. That is expensive at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. We need more reputation. I'm just thinking if I didn't have a night's rest. And I sold everything I've got. I could just about afford the leather armor. Is it worth it though? Because those black cat mushrooms can be quite useful. They can, and also this. You've got a moon egg now. That moon egg can be discarded to, to remove, remove an injury, which is which like could be amazing, mm. useful. Could so be. it was just a th it, it, you've got to make these decisions and trade offs, and it's it's good that a game offers you. What we could do is we could not do any of that, and go straight to the city event. Because the city event might be you rob a bank and gain 20 money each. Might be. Yeah. <laughs> Special gaming rules promo city event. I mean, can we come back and, and do, then we can and come, back. come back and do this? Just as a reminder. We're also going to do that um, uh, expedition thing. We've got, we've got the city activity point <clears> as well. And yeah. we've not gone into this in detail yet, but the city activity points, you can go working on the dock. Like Johnny did. Yeah. He used to work on the dock. <clears> um, and you can gain money. For doing some work or you can go fishing and try, try and get some fish so you can gain money by spending city activity right. points okay so shall we not yeah shall we not okay. do anything we'll, i'll, say, we'll, I'll, we'll I'll save shot. my zero money so now we are going to resolve a city event so it says the top yeah. card of the deck okay. well, I, I like to fan them out and let you pick and then we can blame you who Not wants to pick okay go on then okay so do you want to read out the flavor yes. text at the top okay so underworld war Ooh. That doesn't sound yeah, good. That doesn't sound great. The Sable Crown are, ex are escorting 
are escorting a notorious Corallian pirate vessel away from the Angler's Pier. She is a known troublemaker from Shiva Retreat. You listen to the pirates speaking up against the wealthy and the nobility when Shroud assassins attack the pirate's entourage, and it looks like they have the upper hand. What do you do? We can A. Help the Sable Crown. B. Help the Shroud. <laughs> C. Create a distraction and lead the pirate to safety. So she's one of the factions, and this might well give us favour so with that faction. The Shroud, the Shroud and the Sable baddies. Crown are the two crime, crime, factions. crime factions. So we're essentially deciding, are we going to kind of go in with one with or the one other? one or the other. Or create a distraction and lead the pirate to safety, which means we'll be, we'll be up against both of them. I suspect. Mm. Yeah. I'll leave the decision up to you two. Thanks. So you can blame right. us. Yep. Go on, let's help the Sable Crown. So the Sable Crown are the ones that are escorting a notorious Corallian pirate away from Angler's Pier. So presumably they are protecting the pirates. We don't yes, actually do, no, do we? They they might the pirate might be really bad. So the pirate is speaking up against the wealthy and the nobility when the Shroud assassins attack the pirate's entourage. Yeah, we don't know what's going on. Well, but... I've just been looked down on disparagingly by somebody because of my uh, poor clothing. So I, I, I'm, I'm inclined towards the... Uh, Retaliation. <laughs> whoever it is that's got it in for the nobility. So we're going to help the Sable Crown escorting the... Yeah. Right, okay. So we read Storybook 719. For the pirate and the sable crown, you cannot stand by as an innocent pirate is harassed. Innocent pirate? Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> innocent, in quotes, pirate is harassed and join the sable crown in defending her. The shroud engages you in battle. Steel clashes against steel and arrows and darts seek their targets amidst shields and helms. So we have to do a group check. Which is new. Yeah, so the group checks are a new thing. So group ability checks, they require several heroes, usually usually all, um, to roll an active ability check. And this one is agility. Mm -hmm. You may collectively decide on the order each hero makes their check. If you cannot decide, perform the checks in the order of taunt, from highest to lowest. Before each hero performs their active ability check, they must decide which optional effects are used during the attack, such as discarding an item. All heroes roll their active ability check before each decides whether to spend an achievement gem uh note that group ability checks are used outside of a scenario therefore the funny symbol means two successes okay and the number of successes achieved by each hero are added together before being compared to a specified number the specified number is oh it depends right so first of all blade master guardian knight or marauder gets plus one now we don't have them yet they are special things that our characters can become when we get to level okay. two so if the total number of successes is 12 or more, uh, sorry, three heroes, 18 or more. 18? We need 18 or more, and we read that story point. Otherwise, we read that story point. We need 18 between the three of us. So 18 is going to get us something good. Yeah. Wow. Well, I've got. Now, I don't have anything that will boost it. So no, we've got seven dice between us. But it does say that we can, we can all make the rolls before deciding whether to spend the achievement gems. So we've got seven dice. We don't have a choice. Um, um, 12. This, this is what we're doing. So yeah. okay. I, do, yeah. I don't have anything that can boost my agility. So I'm yeah. just going to... You're going to go with two. I'm just going to roll. There you oh. go. So that's four. Nice. That's that's the most I can get. Well, I could get four. Is it four? Do you have to pay for that? Or is it, no, is no, it no. City? no. It's oh, so city. we can only have one city. crystal each. Every time you do something, you can only ever... Well, we want to try and get to 18. So that's a potential six. Sorry, a potential five. Potential five. So I've got four at the moment. One. Uh, one, good. two, three, four. We needed some exploding dice. Uh, possibly five. Yeah. So we're on eight at the moment. Gone, Paul. We need ten successes. I've got two. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's another four. There's another four. So we've got twelve. Twelve. Potentially, if we all spend a gem, we can get to fifteen. No. Not enough. So we read zero six. The assassins keep you on the defensive long enough for one of them to kill the pirate. Then a whistle is blown and all the veiled killers disappear into the crowd. Each hero takes four damage. Oof. Might check to avoid it. 
And my mind is one. So, oh, that's lucky. I take two damage. Mine is two. Three damage. Three damage. Mine is two. Three, Three damage. damage. Okay, that is the city event done. And then that city event, I believe, gets removed. Okay. We don't have that again. Right. So now that the city event is done, we can go back to... Well, we now get the city activity points. So by default, each character has two city activity points. And these can be spent in a variety of different things. So this is the icon here, if you can just about see that. So you can work on the docks, city activity point, gain two money. Or you can go fishing. If you go fishing, you roll one of the blue dice with that symbol counting as plus two, and you get money equal to the number of shields that you roll plus one. It's basically, if you roll a blank, you get one money. Yep. If you roll one shield, you get two money. If you roll that or that, you get three money. So whereas working on the docks is a guaranteed two money, going fishing is either one, two, or three money. Mm -hmm. okay. The other things that you can do with city activity points is you can go here to heal. So city activity point, heal two stamina, and one damage. And in addition to that, each character has in their book ways that you can spend city activity points. And some of these will say once per city step. And some of them will say once only. Again, you can read these out or you can keep them secret. I'm going to read them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, once per city step, I'm going to dive for sunken treasure in the river. Because I believe I can swim underwater and breathe water. Right. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go swimming in the river and see what we find. The river is dirty, but rumours say it is full of sunken ships. So I roll one of these dice. And I have found a mushroom growing on an old plank. Oh. I gain a blight cat mushroom. a rusty nail in an old plank, isn't there it? There you go. I've gained a blight cat mushroom. So that is a once per city step. So my other thing that I can do is a once only. Yeah. But I'm not going to do that for the moment because money's short. I'll save that for the future. So I'm going to... Do I feel lucky? So we can do the level one city steps. You can only do the level one. If we were level two, you could still do the level one city steps. I'm not sure. I, I'll I'll do that next time. Because I've got a story. Yeah. Uh, you can do that if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna. And again, you can read. I've it. got two. So I've got I've got two. Yeah. Points. Okay. So I, um, I'm 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 gonna go fishing. Yeah. I feel, I, I feel I, lucky. I think this. I think fishing's a good idea. So I'm gonna roll this. I get <laughs> I get one money. One. <laughs> Okay, well, for my first step, okay. I'm going to go fishing. So you're going to spend one city activity point on this. I'm going to spend one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The number of shields plus one. So you get two money. Two. Well, that's one more than I started with, so that's great. Do you think paying back with interest? Uh, Phil has confirmed you can only do the level one activities at level one. Ah, yes. so I'm definitely going to do my story point then. But so remember, you're not going to be level two yet. Yeah, so you might get another chance to do it next time. Oh, I'm expecting to get a lot yeah. of buff XP. It's okay. If you want to yeah, do your I'm gonna do once it. only. Yeah. Pete, what are you doing with your two city activity points? Well, um, since I've got a job, um, at the, I, I'm going to... Uh, oh, you went and got a job, didn't you? I went and got a job. Okay. Uh, and I got a special hat that went with it. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to work overtime Okay. at the archive. Right. Um, which takes me to... Um, story point 10. Um, over time, you stay late at the archive to earn some extra money. It's better than working at the docks. Just point that out. Um, <clears throat> oh, except that I'm rolling against um, willpower. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> which is not my, <laughs> not my forte. Reactive or my active? It's a red die. Yeah. And I've got, I need to find two. Okay. So really, I need to. Yeah, you should do it. Well. Yes, go, look, at, look at me and my knowledge. Yes. Uh, success, gained three money. Oh. What if I failed, I would have gained two. Okay. Still better than fishing. Have three money. Um, <clears throat> and then I'm going to do my, uh, my, my once only. You've got a once only as well. I okay. have. Well, I'll let you two read your book. Oh, I, could, I could go fishing, I suppose. Um, 
or, okay. or work on the docks and get some more money. So yeah. three, four pie. Because then we can buy seven. some of this stuff. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to... Um, I don't want to disclose any story. No, you don't right, have to. No. For spoilers. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my yeah. story points. So I'd be happy to sell either one or both of these. And that gets us quite a bit of money. I've got a kind of talisman thing, which... Yeah, you got given that by that family that you saved. Because I see, yeah. But it is just you sell it for three money. There is no use for that item. So it's three, it's, it's, it's like it, three it money. It's three money, yeah. Well, I could sell the Cube of Annihilation, but that seems like far too much fun that I can have with that mm -hmm. when the opportunity presents, so I'm not going to sell that. I, do, I also don't want to sell my shovel. The, so, I can see why not. It's, yeah. it's, you're you're kind of quite close to that, that shovel, aren't you? I am. I don't want to sell the hook and rope because it's been so it's useful. It's been so useful. So many times. I'm definitely not sell, selling my ceremonial spear because <laughs> I can poke people with that. Um, and that is the only weapon you've got, so you don't have these spare weapons. Yeah. yeah, that's right. I thought about buying a bow, but the bow's got a range of... One to three. Mm. Well, this is up to one, so... Mm. It's an additional range of one, so I can. I mean, I don't, I, I don't have a melee attack, so me item, me, me weapons don't mix, don't mix. Six, seven, eight. The it's moment. the leather, the leather armor is really good, but it is going to cost us fourteen. I've got two that yeah. I can help with. I mean, the sword for you <clears throat> means that you then have one hand free. But what yeah, would you put but in at, at the moment, I don't think I can afford anything to go with it. So no. I'm going to stay with the great axe. I mean, I can sell the hand axe. I don't need both the great axe and the hand axe. So that could give us that could give us two. Thank you. I'll put that back in the shop. You can buy it now if you want. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> how much is it? Too Three much. Three money. Too much. No. Three money with no discount. Hopefully, I don't need. So there that. are other things that we haven't looked at as non-item stuff. There's a pickaxe. Because mm. um, one of the scenarios is going to the cave of happiness. Which we're not decided uh, not to do we're today. We're not going to do that today. We're going to use this one. Twilight There's Watch. Crowbar. Sounds, Twilight Watch sounds like torch territory. <laughs> There's a crowbar. We are going to be guarding a warehouse. Um. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? How many hands? That's one hand. Guarding a warehouse probably shouldn't need a crowbar, should it? It should not. No. But it depends how good you are as a guard. Um. And the crowbar will cost us two money. Oh, that's okay. I've got four now. I've sold it. Go on. Do you want to buy a crowbar? I'll buy a crowbar. Thank you very much. Hmm. And I would equip that on my turn. Yeah. If I needed to use it. Yeah, on your turn you can Fair enough. Giggle your um, Okay, so I've got a question. Yep. Um the hero journal. Yes. Okay. Are we I, writing something? We need in to it? write something in the hero okay. journal. We'll re we'll we'll do that. There are let's just show this. Again, you can do this in the app, I believe, but there is a piece of paper that each uh, player has, and you have a hero journal. Yep. So we're keeping track of this somewhere else, but what do we need to write in your hero journal? Do you want to know? Go on, then. Yeah, it's Riabo's Recollection. Riabo's Recollection. So we write that down in, in your hero journal. Yep. Okay, we'll do that off camera. Okay. So have you spent your two cities? I've done my two. I've spent mine. I've got one left. You've got one left. What are you going to do? Well... Um, I'm looking at the amount of money I've got. I've got three, six, seven, eight, um, potentially nine, ten, eleven, sixteen. But I don't really want to get rid of this. I want to keep it because it would potentially remove an injury if I get one. Yeah. So, um, I mean, it, because you've got the ceremonial spear, what are you thinking of? Are you thinking of the armor? Well, I mean, the armor looks on paper. The armor's really good, but then when you look at what it actually does, if you do a might, every time you do a might check to avoid taking damage, you get one shield. I'm actually that's thinking that's right. probably not good enough to justify me selling all my everything, everything yeah. I've got. Yeah. yeah, the bow is a possibility, mm -hmm. given that my character having a bow is your powerful. your figure has a bow, and I've got four arms, so I can use a oh, bow and, can like, and a spear use... at the same time. Yeah. And not get tangled up. So the bow is normally six, but we I get a discount of five. Mm. So that You've bow potentially mm. could be well. Before I make that decision, <laughs> um, I'm just wondering because I'm really treating this as being party money. Yeah. Is, is there anything that anybody else needs? I mean, you've got potentially up to if you're going to sell those 
red things. Ah, the leather armor. Sorry, the leather armor. It's not. It's not what I said. Okay. It's not one success when you do a mic check. It's one success if you roll that symbol. Oh, that symbol creates. Yeah. So uh, that symbol that creates... becomes a shield. Right. So. Sorry. Whereas it would have been zero. Yeah, so. If I'm being attacked. If you're being attacked and you roll that symbol, that symbol is actually that. Right. So every time I'm attacked, I get to roll that. And well, no. Whenever you, you do a reaction. Whenever you do a reaction check. Right. You you roll these dice. Okay. Normally that symbol doesn't do anything, mm. but if you're wearing leather armor, that give symbol you, does do. You it. So it isn't that great. Yeah. It isn't one automatic it's success. Not, it's like not good enough it. anyway to to justify. So I, I think definitely buy the bow. You think by the yeah, bow? Is there anything yeah. that you wanted to buy no. that needs a bit more no, money? Because I I don't need weapons. I I have no things that. Okay, because I'm slightly conscious of the fact that I'm kind of hogging all of the stuff. So yeah, I mean, I could I could buy a second crowbar, but my might isn't very yeah. good anyway. So no. All right, I'll buy a bow. Yeah. So five money. Five money. Six normally discounted to five because of our thing. Thank you. Nice. So I'll put the torch in my backpack. I'll remember to extinguish it first. That's yeah. Probably... Yeah, good idea. Put in your back. Right. Have you still got a city activity point though? Um. Uh, Did uh, you go yeah. fishing? I, I I did. I was thinking about doing my uh, once only, but I'm going to get another chance to do that. I haven't looked at it in advance. That would be cheating. But I I can. I'm, I'm thinking about doing that. But I think I'll I'll actually go and. Um... So it's fishing, work on the docks, or go here and heal a bit of damage. Let's mm. let's let's go let's go fishing since okay. everybody else has gone fishing. You roll the blue dice. You get too many. Nice. There you go. Right. We've all spent our going. city activity points. Yep. I'll, this is now our last chance to use any of these locations. No, if, I can't if use we're, them. If we're happy with yep. where we are, yep. Yep. Could yeah. we could buy some more Star Lotuses or Black Cup. Well, this black, can you tell me what the Black Cup does again, please? Um, they does it heal? Recover black cup stamina. Is stamina, but the Star yep. Lotus heals damage. Did you want to buy a Star Lotus? I haven't got enough for that. But... I'll lend you a coin. Okay, I would, please. Those two. So you spend three on a Star Lotus. Which allows me to heal up two right now. You could use it right now if you wanted to. Okay, well, I don't have to use it right now. You don't now. have to use it no. right now. I'll see, no. There we go. Yep, nice. So we're all done. That yeah. is the city step over with. Nice. Okay. So now what happens is we go to the journey step. journey step. So choose a scenario card from the stack. So again, just as a reminder, we have these three scenarios which we can do, but we've pre-decided that this is the one we're going to do. This is the scenario number. There is an hourglass in the top left. These three are all green, but green is generally short, blue is medium, and red is long. Mm -hmm. okay. So the different lengths of scenarios. Um, this is whether it's worth an experience point or not. And yeah, okay, so this is what we're doing. The mysterious Kalon has asked you to guard a warehouse in the Northgate district. So what we now do is we complete each of these journey steps. So we are heading to the warehouse. Right, at dusk, you leave the ravenous Goibrin with Kalon, walk up the street to Round Market, then on towards the bridge connecting the secular bank with the Northgate district. The Northgate district is a shanty town where animals drink from the open air sewers and addicts sit on every doorstep. Questionable business is conducted by shadowy figures in, the sm in small alleyways, and you get a feeling you are being watched or even followed. For a fleeting moment, you realize that if Kalon meant to kill you, this would be the perfect place to do so. Instead, he sings an old song as he walks with you, something about the Nitigri goddess of old. And then we play the scenario. Okay. So that was just a little bit of flavour. Mm -hmm. If you do go to an adventure outside of town, then you will get the world event, and there's normally other stuff happening as well. But yeah, what we're now going to do is we are going to play the scenario. So we're going to pop this away. So what's... What's this scenario then? It's there. One. Yeah, it was a it was a city card. It, no, no, no. It was unlocked because we went to the pub. We went to the pub. And he right. yeah. came over oh, to yeah. us and that's said, right, yeah. no, "The city card was the underworld war." No, that's right. Yeah, that we stumbled the event. into the event. Yeah, not the scenario. A bit of yeah. more than we could chew. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> so we now set up for the scenario. Um, so scenario set up is we get our hero board out, which we've already done. Um, we've put our stamina tokens on, but we've already done that. Um, we've got our action marker. We've got some additional setup to do. 
but let's read the story first. So, you walk through the entire Northgate district before you reach an unremarkable wooden building leaning against the wall, the city wall. Here we are, Caelan says. He takes you through the main door. Inside you are greeted by strange beast-like sounds and smells, <laughs> as if you just walked into a stable. You see no toggles, though, but there is a cart at the back between all the crates. My people will come around midnight to move these crates, Caelan says. You'll only have to stay here until then. But if there's any trouble, use whatever you can find. I just don't want the warehouse compromised. After he leaves, you are left wondering what kind of cargo is transported at night. So, on the map, we have... Let me just show you. So, these purple areas. So, we're, gonna, we're all going to start here. And you've got these purple areas with shields on. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four of them. These are Gramask crates. Large wooden crates marked with the emblem of House Gramask. How could their property end up here? If you are in the same area as one of these, you can try a might check, needing five. If you have a crowbar, you get plus two, an axe or a shovel, plus one. If you succeed, you roll the dice to see what's in there. So basically, we can, if we wanted to, go around and start looting these crates to get stuff. We need to reveal cards one and three from the scenario cards. So one and three. If you want to pop them over there. And we need, we're going to need some razor arrows. So that's these, these are archers. There are four of them in the game and we are setting aside the number four, which is a slightly different colour. So we're setting that aside. So that can't be one that's mm -hmm. chosen. Mm -hmm. And we also have Razor Thugs, and again, number four is set aside. So we have Thugs numbered one, two, and three, and we have Archers one, two, and three. So we need to place a trap token in the area indicated there, which is that one. Okay, so trap tokens. The game comes with a set of trap cards, six trap cards. And at various points, we will be told to draw a trap card mm -hmm. at random. So we shuffle the cards and we take one at random. Uh, and that trap is going to be triggered by anybody who goes onto that space. We also have a raid deck. So this particular scenario comes with four raid cards. So what we, they're all the same on that side. But what we do is we give these a shuffle. We remove one of them from the game without looking at it. So that thing is not going to happen. And then we place three of them to the, next to the scenario. So this is the raid deck. What happens is at the end of the second round, so at the end of the discard fate card phase in the second round, so after we've had two yep. rounds, we reveal this card. From that point on, we start a timer. Mm -hmm. And then after a certain amount of time, we reveal the next card. And then after a certain amount of time, we reveal the next card. Then after a certain amount of time, the scenario ends. Right, so we've got a finite So we have two rounds to, before this card, the then we have a certain amount of time before this one, a certain yeah. amount of time before this one, and a certain amount of time before the last one. We've got to stay alive. And the scenario time. ends. Um, the first time the card is revealed, we read a bit of story. Yep. The second card, a bit of story. The third yep. one, a bit of story. Scenario end conditions. So the scenario ends when the timer reaches the target number on the third card. We successfully complete the scenario if all enemies have been defeated at the end of the scenario. Okay. So that is the way that we win, is by defeating all of the enemies. Mm. We fail the scenario if all of us become exhausted or there are undefeated enemies on the map at the end of the scenario. So we've got to... We've got to survive okay, kill and kill enemies. everything else. In either case, we read the outcome yeah. in here. So that's, that's our objective and that's what we need to do. We'll explain these when they come on the board. They are not on the board yet. But now is the point where we choose our action tokens. So we've each got three action tokens, and you choose which of them you want to use. Now, last time I made quite good use of this M power, so I think I'm going to do that again. But you didn't have a, a melee combat. I still don't. You don't? No, I still don't. So it's not available to you to choose from? Nope. I, I, all I've got is either Runic Blast or Runic runic trajection runic blast is stronger but shorter range 
uses her. And it uses stamina. So I'm just going to go runic trajection this time. Let's see what happens. Well, I'm going with switch You've chosen yours. and aim shot. Yep. And remember, some of these cost stamina to use. So rules-wise, things that have been catching us out in previous playthroughs is being hindered and being obstructed, which are two different things. But just as a reminder on the obstructed rules, because some of these enemies have ranged attacks, mm. if if there is an enemy in the same area as you, it is obstructed if it's a ranged attack. If it's a melee attack, you're fine. But if it's a ranged attack and there's somebody in the same area as you, even the person you're shooting, it's obstructed. If there is another thing in the area that you're shooting, so even if there's two enemies and you're shooting at one of them, it's obstructed. Yeah. And also if there's anything in the way. Okay. Now, the other thing when I look at this map is we have lots of areas that are only one dot or two dot. So there's going to be a lot of pinch points. And there's double line areas. Now, double white line areas means you cannot move through them, but you can count range over them and you can get line of sight over them as well. So in terms of story points, we have story point F down here, which is range one. E, you've got to be on E to look at it. C, you've got to be on C to look at it. A, you've got to be on to look at it. But if you have a look, there's no way of getting to A at the moment. B, you've got to be on it to look at it. And D, you've got to be within one, which is basically, you've got to be there. Yep. So that is the story points for this particular. Okay. Can I just ask you once yes. more, what does the... So yeah, so what you do is within range three, you target somebody else, yeah. you put a token on them, and then the next time that player is doing either an active check or a reactive check, you remove that token, they get two extra dice. Right. Mm -hmm. So you basically it's helping, your energy into helping them. somebody else. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't... It doesn't fail at the end of the day. That token stays with them until they use it. Until they use it. I don't yeah. know. Let's just double check that it's not just it, the next time. It, mm -hmm. Does it persist until the next round? or? Yeah, until, the, until discarded. Uh, mark another ally in line of sight with channel energy token. The next time the marked ally rolls one or more action or reaction dice, they roll two extra. The next time. The next time. So they, they can't choose, choose not to use yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. But it could um, be two, three turns later. That's yeah. actually quite, I think that's quite good. Mm, it does seem quite good. Um, it's also fast. Um, yeah, because that's another thing to consider is the, the speed at which those abilities go on. Yeah, I think I'm going to go that, that way around this time. Okay. Are you, are you choosing that? I'm choosing this one. Yeah. So the, I have a the token. channel energy token. I am. So we need to find that token. Don't quite know what it looks like. <laughs> it's uh yeah it's um hexagonal well it's a round round shape yeah it's one, of, it's one of these but I with think. a hex yes it's that is it that it's, one it's that that one, one. that one yeah okay, that's it go. these are color coded for the care for the different characters yeah okay yeah that's, right. that's me okay we are we've done that we've done that we've got our initiative deck we got our fate deck we can get rid of that and that now we don't need those for now uh, we've got our traps, we've got our injury cards, we've got our condition cards. And as I said, we'll have a look at the enemies once they come out. Right. Okay. Well, I'm thinking, I've got the crowbar, but I'm going to equip the crowbar straight away. I'm going to choose extra manoeuvre and I'm going to appeal. <laughs> and it's a good scenario to go into it damaged because there's no enemies on the board at the start. At the start. Uh, and I'm going extra manoeuvre. So are we going to make a decision? Are we opening some of these crates? Or so I'm going to, yeah, I've got the crowbar. So I'm going to go here. Um, uh, unfortunately, you can't go through here, look. So I no. have to come back round again. But maybe, oh, I don't, we don't know how good these are, do we? I, I'll go there and then maybe make my way across this way. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to head round here. You're planning on going to this one? Yeah. So should I go to the, these ones? So we've got these ones and these ones as well, haven't we? Yeah, so, yeah, so to get to that, you've got to go, got to go through, through that the trap. trap. But, you know. Well, well, I've my, got where are my boots I've got the best agility, so... Well, you've got teleport as well. Of yeah, once per scenario, oh, I can yeah. teleport. Oh, yeah. So I could just teleport over there, but then I might oh. have to come back. Yeah. That would be the problem. Well, I've got the best agility, <laughs> so 
probably negotiating traps is going to be my thing. Uh, so traps. Ah, so if a hero moves into the same area as a trap, you can try and disarm it. It's an agility check of six. Oh. If you have the disarm traps thing, you get plus two. And if you succeed, you discard the trap. What if you've got a great axe? You can just smash the trap. No, I think no. that sets it off. Okay. So, yeah, you can actually try and disarm the trap if you move onto the space. But it's six. Six. Yes. Okay. Well, I think I know what I'm doing. Okay. I'm ready to roll. So, extra maneuver, extra maneuver, extra maneuver. Yeah. Right. Initiative card for round one. So, we can ignore the, the enemies because there yep. are no enemies. So, it's red, blue, and green. And blue. Blue. And we all just get a straight action, don't we? Yeah, nothing Green. special on there. Okay, so, extra maneuver. So yeah. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to. A. I can move. Do the. Do the. Do the. Do, do the, the check, break and move, and back. move back, yeah. can't I? Yeah. So I'm going to pay one for doing that. One stamina. So you've okay. got three movement points. That gives points. me three points. So you move one, in. two. You're going to try the might the check. Might. Which is. So your two dice. Yeah. And you've got a crowbar, which is plus two. Four. Four. Crystal. Crystal would be an extra one. Don't forget, crystals can be used in defense as well, or even when you're moving. That one. And yeah. the achievement token, you've got the five. Right, so you need to roll one of those. See what you find. Okay, come on. Ten. Uh, that's a zero. Oh. Yeah, it's not a 10. Oh. You found some scrap metal. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, well, I can use something here. Yeah. I can use it for something. Okay, so okay. thank you very much. That's some scrap metal. And then, so that was one, two, three. Three, so that's one yeah. maneuver done. Um, one, two, three in there. It's going to be something again. One. Two, oh, three. oh, you don't quite get to it. No, okay. Oh, again, if you were desperate, yeah. you could spend a token. And... No. No, sorry, I thought, I, yeah, I missed it. I missed it. it. wasn't joined. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yep. Right. I'm also on blue. Uh, well, I'm not in a rush to get anywhere, so I'm going to use my first maneuver to heal these two, and then I'm going to use my second maneuver to go one two. This area has yep. a capacity of three. Mm -hmm. So that's me done. Um, well, my first maneuver is going to be I'll spend a stamina. And I'll go one two three, and then the second one I'm going to heal. Get two back. Those two back. Right, that's round one done. So, at the end of the round, we take card. Yeah, he's he's not going to do anything at the moment, but it's another three. Okay, round two. Well, I'm going to choose extra maneuver. Yep, me too. Initiative. Initiative. Oh, it's the super one. Super extra extra yeah. maneuver extra maneuver extra maneuver. Okay, so red heroes first. Nope. Then blue. Okay. Do you want to go first? Uh, yeah, might as well. Uh, so, are you planning? Are you planning to investigate here? I was. Um, yes. So, should I go and? Well, you were going to open this crate, weren't you? Oh yeah, I can do that, can't I? Uh, and there's another crate around here as well. Let's put. We're supposed to mark it with an X. Oh, okay. Cast me an X. That, that makes some sense, wouldn't it? Because we have we have looted that. We've done that one. Okay. Um, okay. Well, I'll pay an extra one. Do three. So it's one. That's me. Oops, sorry. One. Yeah. Do the check. Do the check. Okay, so currently so what this is payable. I've got plus two. Plus two because of the crowbar. Yeah, so you'd have to spend three stamina. Mm -hmm. You don't have three stamina. I have three stamina. I can't do or that, two can stamina and a gem. <laughs> one. Uh... Should have rested first. Yeah, I should have rested first. You're right, absolutely right. Um, do I want to bother again? You um, can't do that particular test. Again? This round. No. You could do a different test. But I could do one, two, three. So that's your first manoeuvre done. Manoeuvre done. Yeah, you've got two more manoeuvres left. Do I want to... Yeah, okay. So let's go here. So you're just doing a normal I'm movement? I'm just doing a normal movement. For your second yeah. maneuver. Someone, yeah. Okay, and we're reading card C. We can get rid of this now. So card C is 
Gramask Wagon. Um, so the wagon blocks access to the corner of the warehouse, but there is no toggle to draw it. You remember hearing that House Gramask has recently lost a wagon like this when the bandits of the Sable Crown ambushed them. So if you are on this space, you can try and move the wagon. So my check of five. If you succeed, we flip the card over. It's a free check. No bonus for having a crowbar. So maximum we can get is three. Yeah. So no. Nope. Nope. So that card stays there. Okay. One more manoeuvre. Um, no, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna heal these three. Heal three. Yep. Okay. okay. Interesting. I think somebody's gonna have to move that if they want to uh, investigate yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. You've got yeah, to move like that it. to it get like... to get to there. Yeah. Although you could teleport in, but then you wouldn't be able to get out. Yeah. Potentially. Well, we must have to. Yeah. If we if we if we can get the wagon out of the way, move the wagon. Not paint your wagon. Move your wagon. So where where did you start? You started here. Started there. You went. I did move one. one two, move two. Three. No, I did. Yeah, I think you went one, yeah, two, did three. I, did I pay for one? Okay, yeah. one, two, three. But your second oh, beg one, your so you've got you're one right, so I do have one, one more. Okay, I do have one more. Um, okay, well, I'll, I'll well, yeah, I'll okay. sort the trap out. Yeah, by stepping on it and by setting stepping on it, it and setting it off. You know, I'll jam my crowbar into it. So I'm going to spend two movement points to go here. Why not? Nice. I'll have a look at this. So this is E. E. Okay, so E is... Too cute to ignore. <laughs> a malnourished moncoon is whimpering in one of the cages. Oh, no. Were they going to feed it to some bigger beast? Well, I have a manoeuvre spare. Ooh. So I can help it by flipping this over. Because I've got three manoeuvres, haven't I? Yes. And that was my first one to move in. So my second one, I will help the moncoon. So cute critter. The furry moncoon snuggles in your arms, purring gently. It is way too friendly to feed to something else. But returning it to its owner might be lucrative, or you could keep it for yourself as a pet. Okay, so I've got I've got this, is mine, nice, um, and I've still got a manoeuvre left. So why don't I go here and I will try that? Yep, <laughs> it might. I need with, five with one <laughs> on one die. Yeah, bursting dice. One. One. 20% success. Okay. Yeah. That's me done. Uh, so, Matajam, you've got three manoeuvres. I'll spend that to go one, two, and then and stop. Yeah. See what the F is. Oh, you've got I one more move. See what F is first. Yeah. Right. F is. Strongbox. Ooh. This heavy crate is reinforced with metal corners and studs and a sturdy lock. The scratch marks on the floor indicate the strong box was dragged into the warehouse quite recently. So this is a progressive skill check. Nice. Yeah. Uh, three per player plus five. So there's 14. So I'm going to put... Uh, I'm going to put 14 on it, if I can find the one. And we'll count down. So if you've got a crowbar plus two, shovel or axe plus one. Okay. So, so my third is breaking the crate to move, to move on to it. You've moved on to it. That's your first manoeuvre done. Yes. You get to do this for free. Did you want to swap any items around? You don't have either a crowbar or a shovel or an axe. So uh, I just get to do a... It's just a mic check. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. So nice. Go down to ten. Cannot do that check again this round. So that was my first first manoeuvre. Yeah, you got two manoeuvres left. So I'll go here. Do I get to try that? So for are free? you doing a normal movement action? Normal movement. Normal movement action. Yeah, you get to try that for free. So my check of five. Well, I could actually. I could spend a stamina, and then I would have I two points left. Yeah, but if your plan was to go there and back, oh, I don't need to. You don't need to. Okay, so I've just got a normal normal movement action. Yep. Um, so what am I doing here? This is a might check of five, might check five, might check of five. So yeah. two dice, two no, failed. Can't open the box. So you've got one movement point left, uh, move back, and you've got one maneuver left, which I will use to um, recover three stamina. Recover mm -hmm. three stamina. Nice end of round two. So the fake card 
<clears throat> is discarded. And now we get to read the first of the raid cards. So I'll read this first, which is on your guard. The sounds of the Northgate district penetrate the walls of the warehouse. Drunken singing, muffled cries, toggles howling, glass shattering. Any of these could be a sign of thugs attacking or just the regular noises of the shantytown. Perhaps you can let your guard down and explore the warehouse in peace. Or perhaps aggressive thugs are just around the corner. Your nervous anticipation is broken when you hear a loud crash at the doors. So, the first raid card revealed. We read story 18. 18 says... Just as you are about to really start exploring the warehouse, you hear a loud crash at one of the doors. A group of veiled warriors storms in through the broken door. You realise they must be robbers of the Razor Vespia gang. Okay, so mm. a gang we've not heard of. No. But what we do is we flip this card over. We need to spawn a Razor Arrow on each circle. So a Razor Arrow is one of the archers. I'm going to take a random one of these. And it gets spawned. We are three or more players. So it gets spawned there. Again, normally we would be using standees, but you can't really see them on the top down view. And there is another circle over there as well. So in fact, two doors have broken down. And we've got Razor Thugs. That's these. So we need one Razor Thug there, one Razor Thug there. And if we were four players, there would be a third one there. One goes there, and one goes there. So we've got number three in both places. Right, let's go and have a look at the enemies. So first of all, the thugs. So the thugs have 10 health each, provoke of one. They drop one money uh, when killed, and they do various things mm -hmm. when they attack. But it's basically melee attacks. The razor arrows have eight health each. The razor arrows are interesting because they have a provoke of one, but at a range of two. Okay. Ooh. So it's not just if you move out of their area, mm. if you move out of any area within two of them, even if you're going towards them, they're going to deal you a provoke. So these are these are generally ranged. So we need to remember the rules for obstructed aim yep. when they're attacking. But that's what those are. Now they've just spawned at the end of round two, which means they are going to act on round three. These are red, these are blue, so they're generally going to go pretty quick. And remember, our objective is to Take kill everyone. We, yeah, we've got to protect the warehouse. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'll let them walk into the trap then. <laughs> well, I'm right here. Yes. <laughs> and I'm, I'm a little squidgy. Yeah, I need to come in there. So, the problem is, my, my thing is green. It's ranged. So you need to not be in there. And I need to not be in there. And, and the you need is, to have two of them, there's two of them in there. Yeah, there's two of them. They're, they're, they're likely to move here before I get a go and bash me to pieces. Because your runic I'm, I'm is switching. green. Yeah, it's green. So I'd be going yeah. quite slow. Mm. Um, but... Well, I can channel... Yeah, I don't think and I have much options. G. I just have to... I, I mean, what I'll probably do is they come in, they hit me for lots, I move out, I take the Provoke, and I hit them at range. So I could, I, I, could, I could power you up a bit with the channel energy. I think you first. need to get in and hit them. Because while you're doing that... But I'm slow to yeah, hit them. Yeah, but that's fine, because they move there and they hit me, and then be, that area has got three capacity. So I can go in. So it means you can hit them without having to move in. Okay. Meanwhile, Matajam is still busy with this strongbox. Well, you're our super fighter because you've got the ceremonial spear and the bow, whereas I've got a shovel. We're kind of all in the wrong place, aren't we? We are I've completely the, all in the wrong I've place. I've got the great axe. Okay. But I'm wearing my ethereal crown. Mm -hmm. Oh, these magical attacks. They're not magical attacks, are they? So remember, range can be traced over double white lines. So you don't necessarily have to walk all the way around. Line of sight can be traced over the mm. white line as well. Yeah. Don't forget you've got your teleport. But I have my teleport. Whether you want to use it. Yeah. I mean, you could use it to jump in yeah. there. Get out of the way. Yeah, I could do it within five. 
range of three. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I, so no. I could on my well, turn. You could actually go there, couldn't here. you? At, range of three. Yeah. I could actually stay here, hiding behind Out these the way, crates. Zapping those and just range. zapping. That's, that's probably what best what that's I'm doing. A great idea. Yeah. Okay. So that's my plan. Hide behind the crates. Well, you could do it here. But there's no point being there. That we, we, yeah, we can't get out again. You can't get back out. <laughs> Unless one of us moves the right. yeah, I true. might not need to, but I think then it's probably better. Yeah. Because then you that could, gets you could get the, points. And you could also try attacking these while they move. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that's my plan. You're not within his provoke range. But what are you doing? Are you extra manoeuvring? Me. To get in here? Um, um, true striking. Definitely, because yeah. I can't do anything until I'm uh, on the spot. Right, that should have been shuffled in. So our super yeah. good card is back. Right then. So, oh, we're starting a timer as well. So the timer starts, and when it gets to 13, we reveal the next card. Okay, so, so we're timer, now starting a timer. A timer oh, and in fact, that starts the timer. Okay. I think it said that. That's the first of 13. I think it said that, yeah. Phil's just pointed out that that is not quite true. That is just a normal... Normal fake card. The timer hasn't started yet. So, initiative Just card. Good. Oh! Well, <laughs> well shuffled. Yeah. Ideal. Happy with that. Okay, that's really good. Oh, that changes everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so red. Red. None of us. None of us. Blue. Blue. None of us. <laughs> Green. Green. All of us. <laughs> so, shall I go first then? Yeah. I mean, I could do my runic trajectory before I then just move away. I don't need to teleport yeah. now. In fact, first thing I'll do is I'll do the check. Yeah, you're on the check. Why not? You're on, you're on the check. Yeah, I yeah. will have a go at this, um, moving this Grimask right. wagon. Show us your muscles. No, I'm not going to bother. Oh, nice. <laughs> but anyway, it was a free thing to do. It's now my go. Yeah, I'm going to just try my runic trajectory. So it is obstructed. So I get minus one success. Uh, I don't know which one to go for. Neither of them have got armour. Probably archers. It's got, it's got less. Yeah, so I'm going to go for archer number one. It's quicker to kill. Um, and yeah, so I could I could boost it with these to give me more dice, but I'm not going to at this stage. Two. Two. Minus the one for being obstructed. So I've done one damage. One damage to number one. To number one. That's that. And then I am just going to use a normal manoeuvre to move away. And I will move. I'll just move to here. Yeah. Don't think they're going to... Oh, uh, provoke. So when I move from there to there, I provoke that archer. And I take a damage. Now, because it's a ranged provoke, when I move from here to here, I don't take the damage again. Because he's already done damage to me yes. during my okay. turn. Okay, yeah, fine. Yeah, so single, can, single provoke per single turn. Single provoke per turn per, yeah. per enemy. Yeah. Right, that's me done. So I'll do a manoeuvre. So the standard. area that they are in is two dots. So it's full. So that area yeah. is full, which means you can I attack stand it from outside. there. Okay, so I'm going to use standard movement two to move there. I will try the check while I'm there. Why not? Why not? Just, just you know, while you're passing, just pick up a wagon and try and move it. Running into battle. Yeah. There's three. Yeah, it's not, it's not oh, five. Not enough, though. Uh, so then I'm going to do a true strike, which is one dice. One dice. Get a With plus two. Three extra successes. With two for three. the action yeah. and, and one, one for the great axe. axe. Which one you hitting? Oh, sorry. Um, which one did you hit? The, I hit uh, archer okay. number one yeah. for an insignificant yeah. amount of damage. Okay, so I'm going to go for archer number one. It's two, three. Four, five. True strike. Two strike, four, five. So down to two. Yeah. Oh, sure. and when you moved from there to there, you should have taken a provoke. Because it's range two. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So you take a damage when you move from there okay, to there. Okay, yes. Okay. And then you hit it. And then I hit it. That's your go That's done. me done. Okay. So me. Um, oh, hang on, don't we get extra manoeuvres? Have you not had Oh, so have we, we do. I forgot yes, we so we do. Maneuvers. So we do. I'm not very good at that, although I do have a shovel. Which helps, isn't it? One. It helps a little bit. But it is five. 
Yeah. I'm just going to get that one back. What do you want to do with your extra manoeuvre that we forgot about? Yeah, I think I'm going to recover stamina. Recover two stamina? Yeah. yeah two stamina. Okay, so we've done our extra manoeuvres. It's yeah. now Pete's go. You've got three manoeuvres. Yes, yeah, because I didn't know I was going to get an extra one. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Um... Right, do you want to have a go at this while you're here? Yes. Yes. Worth doing. So, might check. So, three. Uh, four, five. Okay, down nice. to five successes needed left. Nice. Still got three manoeuvres left. I'm now going to move away. So, I can't do that again. Can't do that again this turn. And it would, this has got to be good, something good in it's this. got to be good. It's a big success, isn't it? The question is, am I going to... Can you, you, can... you manoeuvre out and then manoeuvre back? You can only do the test for the turn. But you can only do it test for the turn, okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, I, I, am I gonna, do you want me to come in here and join the fight immediately? Or shall I stay there and try to open that box? Because if I move away and get into the fight, I'm thinking I probably won't get a chance to finish to go back. that box. Exactly. You're too valuable for us in, in both cases, really. Because these are not going to do any damage. Because I don't think they can get close enough, can they? Uh, oh, actually, that's... Because there's, there's this as well, movement if we one. wanted to open yeah. another one of I, these crates. I was just wondering whether but, it would be worth it. I think this has got to be worth cracking on with. I'd stay, down, I'd stay down there. All right. In that case, I'll do a, so an, ordinary, first manoeuvre, an ordinary manoeuvre yeah, to go there. Yeah. Have a go at that. Which is two dice. Leaving five. five. No bonuses. Well, there's, there's, one, there's one. One exploding one. So, I so you get, could do five. could do five. And you've got all the manoeuvres to get to recover. Yeah. So well done. You've done it. So we pop, pop, pop an X on here. And you roll that. And I'll find that I've just found an old it, it might be rusty hubcap or old something. Boot. Uh, one. Yeah, literally scrap metal. <laughs> All that effort. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, so have some scrap metal. Thank you. Mm. Wow. And then your second movement point back to there. So you've still yep. got two manoeuvres left. And I'll use uh, one to heal <laughs> those three and another one to heal those three. Oh, that put me back where I was. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Okay. That's great. Okay. We are all done. So now it's red monsters. Which is the Razor, razor thugs, thugs, and they are doing the open eye. So they are moving two and then slicing. So it moves into there and it's going to slice. So I... three damage might check, might check to negate. Two. Could have spent a crystal to take that out of four, couldn't they? Oof, two damage. Right, and then this one, there's no target, so it goes one, two. So that's in a fuller area. Okay. Okay, that's them done. Next, blue enemies with the half open half eye. Half open, move two. And then attack with an arrow, which is range two. So this one doesn't need to move because it's in an area that it can attack from. Yeah. So it attacks into here, which is obstructed because there's something else yes. in there. So it's minus one damage. So it's two damage coming in. Agility check to negate. So one damage. One damage. And then this one, can it attack from where it is? No. So it moves to there. Can it attack from there? Range two, isn't it? Yes, range two. No. And it can't move and into there because into the there. area is full. So it stops. It could move through, but... It hasn't got enough movement. It hasn't got enough movement for it to move oh, through. What a minor tragedy. Wow. Yeah. It's a way. It's yeah, thug got in the way of the, yeah, of the uh, razor. That's all them done. Well, the yeah. razor thug got End in. of the round. The timer razor starts. Arrows. Three. So oh. 13. 13. Is how many rounds we've got. Before something else bad happens. Before something else bad happens. So we've just had it pointed out to us that this archer can actually hit me. So if we look carefully, it, this is one area and then there's there as well so actually i am two away because there's little corner here so it, it can actually attack me mm -hmm. so i need to make an agility check i'm taking three damage 
I'm taking two damage. Two damage. Okay. We're all fixed. Done. And then we did the timer, and then we've done that. Right. I am selecting... Well, I, I think I'm just selecting... I'm, I'm fighting. Again. Yeah, I'm fighting. I mean, I can channel energy, but I don't know that that's great. For, I just need to... We need to knock these guys out. Yeah, now you're quite badly wounded. I am. <coughs> Problem is you're hindered at the moment. As well. Um, which means I'll only, I'll only recover two wounds. Yeah. Two, Still. Two, but it's better than nothing. It is. I'm going to do this. Yep. Okay, we've all selected. Yeah. Right, initiative card. So it's blue enemies first. With snake. With the snake. Mark so open. Blue enemies uh, with the snake, and the snake happens first. Plus one to their attack this turn. Right. Wow. And then it's the half open eye, which is the same as last time, but with plus one damage. <sighs> so And they move to if need be. Off you go. Yeah, so it's me. Don't forget you've got a lotus. So it's three plus one because of the ricochet, but then minus one because of the obstruction. So it's back to three. So you're taking three damage. Yeah. Agility check to negate. Yeah. The load is a good point, actually. You use it on the, your turn. The Lotus on my turn. On your turn, yeah. But I can do that after I've decided, after I've seen what happens here. But you can't use it now. You can only use it on your turn. Because it's only on my turn. Yeah. Three. And on me. I'm taking... That's all of mine. I'm taking four That's damage. That's all of mine. Oh, look at that. Nice. Take one. I successfully dodged out of the way. Well, these are bad, aren't they? They are. Right. But that's them done. Now it's red monsters, red enemies with the half open eye, which is move three, slashing blade. So that one, mm. how's it go at you? Four damage. This could be a wound. This could be a wound. Come on. It's going to be it is, isn't a wound. It? Yes. And there's so, nothing we can so do So I need to that. do three damage. Three. Which I can't. So you take one. I take that, that one. one. My last right. one. And then because there was more, you are now wounded. So that flips over. Goes to four. You get four stamina. And you get a random injury card. This is not good at the start of the This time. is not great, is it? And uh, those four go off. Hmm. What you got? What you I've got? been winded. Okay. Uh, it's minus one result to my... Uh, well, actually, I think that means whenever I do one of these rolls, get I get success. minus one success. Yeah. So actually, for combat... Purposes, Not too bad, is it? You're okay. Because Could have been I've worse. got one... So you just slide that at the bottom of your character. That's it. Yep. Yeah, that's actually not... That's not too bad. For the for purposes me. of doing these checks, it's bad. But yeah. for the combat, it's yeah, okay. That's okay for me. Problem is, you've only got four stamina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. And now this one. So he's moving... Uh, re? Yeah. So he moves to there, and yeah. he's going to have a go at me. So how much damage is it? It's four. What I need is a cube of annihilation. Four <laughs> damage. Yes. Four damage. I'm rolling well today. And yes, that's it. They didn't oh, have on. the snake. Hang on, they didn't have the snake. No, the red ones didn't. The red ones didn't. Fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, thankfully that's them done. Red heroes, come on, Master Jam, kill everything. Okay, you need your pet out there to knock these guys out. First of all, get running around. Go at this strong box. Five. Come on. What you got? Two. Two. Well, so. Finish it later. <laughs> we will finish it later. Okay. So what's the range with your bow? Your bow has got a range of three. You are actually within three. One, two, three. Mm. So you don't have to move. But that would be hindered, hindered. wouldn't it? It would be or obstructed. 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 Or I could move to here. It would still be obstructed. Um, on stab with my spear. Uh, no, because the area is not full. Oh, you could stab with the spear. I've got a range of one. Range of one with the spear. You could. I'm thinking if you stayed here, 
and we recovered. One more and go. And he pulls that next time. That's true. And then this area is secure. Okay, let's do that. <clears throat> I'll shoot. So uh, with your bow. With my newly found bow. Yeah, range one to three. Range one to three. It's uh, two, dice, two dice. Minus one success because it's obstructed. Come on. Three one, damage. Two, three. Minus, minus one. one. So two damage, two damage. Two to damage. thug number three. Okay. okay. And then I will use my maneuver get to... Three, three stamina back. Nice. Yeah, no, that's nice. Back. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. good. Slightly different picture to what's going on up here. Yes. <laughs> um, so that's red heroes. Blue heroes. No. Green enemies. Green heroes. Okay, that's me. So I'm going to have a go. I'm going to use... So you're going to use True Strike against... True Strike against number this one. one. Uh, well, actually... Mm. You can't attack this one without moving into its area. And if you did that, you'd take Provoke from this one and this one. Yeah, I can't afford to do that, can I? So, so yeah. I have to be going, I have to be going <laughs> for number one. Number one, Thug. Thug number one. Thug number one. One. Two, three, Two, three. four damage. Four damage. Yeah. Okay. Um, you have a manoeuvre, but... You can't do much with it, can no. I, really? But I can spend my... There's no point. There's you're no not, point at the damage. moment, because I can't do that first. You, know, you currently have no damage. So, okay, and there was no way I could have done that, because they went You'd before me. You'd have had to do it I'd on to your do it my turn. previous round. Yeah, yeah. So, so no manoeuvre. I have to remember that. Okay, am I going to teleport away? <laughs> what, leave them to me? Yeah, I'm just leave gonna, me as bait. Just gonna go around. Um, are we gonna go with that plan? Well, if you go there, you can shoot this one at range. Okay. And if you're there, you're hindered, aren't we? Bad, obstructed, obstructed, hindered, three. fatigued, slowed, confused. Yeah, everything. I think this is a great spot for you, isn't it? <laughs> so I can teleport, mm. and thankfully, because that is connected to that, it's actually. Oh no, I can do it this way. So one, two, three. It's only four away. No, it's only one. That's all one. Uh, there's oh, there, oh, there is a one. There. Okay. So one, two, two three, three, four. four. Yeah. So I'm going to teleport. It's once per scenario. Okay. Pop. Do you get that back for the next scenario then? Yep. Nice. And it doesn't provoke anything that I mm. leave. And it doesn't nice. count as moving through. So mm. I get to read B. Card B. Nice. Let it be good. So, card B is a caged Vespia. This cage holds a despondent-looking Vespia. It's illegal in Benham to enslave wild animals, but you have heard rumours of a secret beast trade in these parts. The lock is stuck, which is maybe why the cage was left here in the corner of the warehouse. So I could break the lock. I don't know whether I really want to break the lock. All pets. Well, I mean, it's a Vespia. It looks quite nasty. But... I'm not going to succeed. So we need 11 total successes on this. So I might as well make a start because it's a free thing to do. Um, so it's a might check. I'm one dice. I have a shovel. I get plus one. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to get the one. I'm not going to spend any salmon. Mm, okay. Down to three, yeah. And you also get to look at card D. I get to look at card D as well. So card D purple light there is a forbidding crate. This box smokes like it was on fire <laughs> and radiates with an evil Aox energy. Approaching it feels like a bad idea. But perhaps that means its contents are very valuable. <laughs> right. Aox is the bad stuff. So I haven't had my manoeuvre or my action yet. So I'll do my action. And I'll do runic trajection on this. Yep. So it's at range, not obstructed, two dice. I could boost it with this, but I'm not going to. Exploding explode dice. I'm going to spend all three. So I spend three to do four damage. Four damage to Archer number three. three. Okay. Yeah. And for my manoeuvre. That's good. I'll have them back. Yep. 
I did only roll two dice, didn't I? Yeah, I got the exploding dice. Mm. Okay. Right. I think that was probably the best thing for me to do. Yeah. So you've done yours, I've done mine. End of the round. Okay. Timer? Timer. Did I do, did I do mine? So... Yes, didn't you? Oh, red. You. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You went first and you, you shot things went, and you, thing you and got you, this you, down to I went first. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So timer is a three. Next round. I'm going to choose the same. Mm. Am I going to choose the same? If it goes yes. before me, oh, it's going to be able to shoot me. It, yeah. So it can stay there and be shooting me while I'm shooting it. So actually, that's okay. I'm tying this one up. Yes. It means he's not going to run over here and leave do, me without a target. So I'm going to choose runic trajectory. We're going to have a we're going to have a shootout in the warehouse. <laughs> You didn't have a movement point left to move in there. Did I you? didn't. No, I didn't. Yeah. So I, I, I used my manoeuvre to recover. Ah, okay. Yes. And in fact, it's a manoeuvre to open the crate. Okay. C, moving the wagon. It's five. It's funny that you can be doing that just yeah. on the side whilst yeah. you're. Yeah. Yeah. But you are at minus one because you're hindered. So, A, uh, because yes. you're hindered, yes. and you're also it. at minus one because you're winded. Might as well try, though. It's, it's, it's worth a try. Five on two dice with minus two. Yeah. I was, I was deciding whether well, to you're use going for an aim shot now. focus or whether I just... No, you need to attack. Just okay. keep attacking. Yeah. Just soak up the damage and attack. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Do as much damage as you can before you get knocked down. Yeah. Right, let's have an initiative. Okay, card. let's hope we go first. Red enemies. Thugs. So it's the thugs with the open eye. So thug number one. Yeah. It doesn't need to move, it's going to slice you. For three. So three and it's a might check. And I do a reaction. Two, ah, but I'm minus Now your one. might is minus one, isn't it? Yeah. So it does matter. Let's just check that. You get one fewer success when performing an active ability check. Active, active not reactive. ability check. Only active. So not a reactive check. So we're okay. Oh, okay. So those, those should so, really be so... on there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Three. Is that no damage? Uh, yeah, it's an open eye, isn't it? Open eye three. Right. That's no damage. Right. Mm. This one, however, oh. moves first. It moves into your area. Is it? Yeah, it's, it's three. Movement two. Yeah, it's three area. Yeah. Yeah, it is movement two. So it can only attack if it's in there. Do the same thing again. Same thing again. Slice and dice. One. So I can't do anything with this no. one just so yet. Two damage. Two. Right. Okay. Red. Heroes. Nobody. That's the downside of the aim shot because you're spending time. Yeah, you get aiming. ready. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, green enemies. None. Green heroes. Me. Uh, I've got to do something about those laying around on me, but I'm actually going to just move this crate out of this this <laughs> this big. So you're you're two I'm dice, two but minus one success because you're hindered, and minus one success because you're winded. So you need five on two dice with a minus two. <laughs> it could happen. It Seven good. successes. It's worth me trying it. No. no. <laughs> okay. So that was your free check to nice. lose the wagon. Okay. Next, I'm. Next, I think I'm going to attack. Are you going to numb your lotus star lotus? Oh, that's a great idea, actually. I'm going to eat my star lotus. Yeah. For two. Two health back. Two. Okay. Right. Thank you. That's well reminded. Um. Which one are you going to hit? Okay, so uh, number one yep. um, is... It's got six health. The one with six. And num so it's definitely number one. Yep. Okay, so... One dice plus one three. Dice plus three. Oof. Oh, now oh, you could kill it. Could do it, couldn't I? You could I'm kill gonna it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do so I'm two gonna stamina. Two stamina five. to make five. And an achievement token. And an achievement token for six. Okay, now that drops loot. So it drops one coin. 
slice you can't, on me. You can't pick it up because you're hindered. Because I'm hindered. So when you're hindered, you can only drop items. You cannot pick up or exchange items. So there is one money on that space. Oh, I feel uh, I feel I've done some work now. You have. Yeah. Okay. It's a uh, start. And now I can You've recover. Got I've got a manoeuvre, so I can do a recover. You are hindered. Okay. So it's minus one. But you I get can one still back. get one back. That's, that's worth me doing that. Right. I am going to use my runic trajectory. So again, we are going to have another red dice. Yeah. Not obstructed, not hindered. None of that stuff. Just zap, yeah, zap, zap. Straight into number three. He's got four health. Oof. Well, there's two. Four. Four. Don't need to spend any extra stuff. Hey! Go on. Payback. Nice shot. That's mm. great stuff. I take back everything I ever said about wizards. <laughs> Cinematic, at least. Uh, I'm literally hiding yeah, behind this one. He's behind a crate. I'm just going. Got it. What are you going to do? Heal? Uh, yes, I get two back. That was a good round. Great movement there. And it's okay. Uh, so that was green. Now it's blue enemies. Oh, blue enemies. Which yes. is this it's archer. The... Yes. And it's doing um, half open half eye. Open. So range two attack. Yeah, it's going to shoot you with an arrow. Three damage. Two, two because it's obstructed. And it's my... Agility. Yeah, that's two. None. Yeah, two damage. <gasps> Ouch. That's actually... Yeah, that we need to get you out of there, don't we? Yeah. It's knocking me right. out. Now it's Metagen. Strong box. <laughs> Fourth go. Come on, get those forearms going. All four. On the box. One, two. Uh, uh, yeah, you don't get any bonuses. Nope, no bonuses. You only need one, don't you? you no, need... I meant because uh, for items and stuff. No, but yeah, you, you need to pay one. So if you spend the stamina, you've yeah. got three yeah. successes. Nice. Okay, so we're going to flip the strong box over. Here we go. Right. Reveal and resolve a trap card immediately. Okay. Oh. So it was trapped. Oops. <laughs> Your okay. hands went in there. <laughs> so pick, a, pick a trap card. I don't get to disarm it or dis... I didn't know it was there, did I? Um, razor blades. Ouch. Ouch. So um, that is an area of attack. So everybody in this <laughs> space yeah. takes five damage. Ooh. I might check... To negate the damage, and you also gain the bleeding condition. Oh. I take five damage. Ouch! That was a and hefty that trap, trap card. Gets shuffled straight back in. Wow! And bleeding. And I'm bleeding. I presume that means I get another damage at the beginning Did of you each pop turn. Pop on there. Yeah. As it says, start to turn one damage to discard it. Spend a maneuver to bandage yourself. Okay. That's it. Hmm. No, it's not. I'm joking. There's stuff in there. No, no, no. Yes, I'm like, <laughs> so you've not opened the box. You open the strong box and find some stolen house penarch property, a leather vest, and a shield. Ooh, so you know those that really thing you were trying to buy, <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to spend all your money. Those really expensive. You found one. Items. That's amazing. So Phil has just confirmed that you only take the bleeding if you take damage, which you yeah. did. Can, yeah, if you yeah. avoided all of the damage, okay. you don't take the bleeding. Yeah. So you found leather armor and a wooden shield. Hi, this is Paul in the editing room. And just a clarification on certain pieces of equipment if you pick them up during a scenario. This applies to armor, backpacks, and pets. If you gain one of these items during a scenario, then you can only equip them by spending a maneuver. Right, so I've got a bow, I've got a spear, I've you got are. armor, I've got a shield. Um, where, so where's the fighting? Ha oh, over there. Over there, yeah. Where, where, where we are, basically. <laughs> right, okay. Or where I am. Well, I, could, I think I might just, I might just... That was your free start. I'm not turn. urgently needed over here for any reason, am I? Well, <laughs> yeah. I think I'll just stay over there. I've got one stamina left. <laughs> um, <laughs> and one retrieve. So you have a maneuver and an aim shot. Right. Aim shot is range three. The manoeuvre, I think, is going to be a, no a normal manoeuvre. One, two. Yeah. And I've now got one, two, three range to shoot into here. That's too far away. Yeah, I'm just seeing if there's any sneaky corners that we can sneak around. But there yeah. isn't. It only works for them. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, so, it's obstructed because there's somebody else in there, namely Joe Nigerian. Mind you, if I was to hit him by accident, that's a risk I'm prepared to take. Yeah, so you miss me. You Don't have hit to me. Spend a stamina to activate the thing. Yeah. But so it's I three dice. Do that. Nice. Minus one success for a Come on, let's go for it. Come on. Item card limits. Oh, nice. And there's heavy armor as well. I don't, I'm, I'm not able to use that because I don't have any stamina left. Okay. So uh, that's three. So it's three. Three damage to um, Razor Thug number three. Three damage to Razor Thug number three. Okay. Uh, and that's me done, I think. Yeah, you did the manoeuvre to move, didn't you? Yeah. And then the shot. Yep. Yeah. That's the end of the round. It is. Timer. Timer. Oh, I, um, sorry. No, yeah. Yeah, three. Timer is a four. So we're currently on ten. Next round likely to might be... be... Yeah, likely to be next one. Might be the next one. Okay. So, next round. I am going to choose... Well... I'm actually going to choose extra manoeuvre and I might open this forbidding crate. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> or I heal and just move there or something over there. Because if more enemies are going to come in here, I could literally just stay here for the whole scenario yeah, and, and just hit them from and there. And stab them from behind there. Yeah. That's exactly what a wizard would do, isn't it? Yeah. That's me, up. Are you two happy with your choices yeah, I'm, in life? I'm going to do as much as I can before I fall over. Okay. Initiative card. Please be green heroes go first. <laughs> it's mm. not. It's the Razor Thugs. The red enemies first. It's the Razor Thug and it's doing an open eye. So oh, it's slicing you. Sorry, I hadn't chosen. Yeah, what were you choosing? Um, I, I was going to do that instead. Because you're out of stamina, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, open eye, slice, three damage. The shame is not a magical attack. One damage. Wow. That could yeah, have been, just that could have been your It's really starting to hurt. Yeah, that, that could, could have been, been scenario me. over. Probably. Is it scenario over if no. exhausted? No, it's if all of We're only a third of the way through, and if one of the characters is gone, I yeah. suspect we may not do well okay <laughs> anyway that's that one done that's the only one of those red heroes yes right now uh, bear in mind that's already been yeah please could be the other one that's almost dead how is that almost dead did i shoot it a couple of times maybe i did i forgot about that it was so long ago yeah it was well, so that one ago. hasn't been yet that that one hasn't been yet and he's only okay. got two health left okay well i was gonna Heal, but I'm not. I'm going to move to there, I couldn't so hit it because I'm I within range of him. So I'm going to shoot him. Oh yeah, because you don't need stamina for the swift drive. No, so I'm going to shoot him. That's why I chose it. Yeah, um, nice. It's worth a go. Two dice. Uh, yeah, I'm just checking about provoking. Nope. So if you moved from here, you would provoke him. Well, I'm going to kill him. Yeah, yeah. If they're provoking me. Provoke him by shooting him in the head. Yeah. Right. Okay, so that's one, one and another. Two hits. Yes. Thank you. I mean, you could have used an achievement token if we'd have, yeah, if we'd have needed it, but that's gone. So that's one less. Just when you needed the cavalry to arrive. Absolutely. Yeah. Right, blue heroes. Sorry, blue enemies. No blue enemies anymore. Blue heroes. Me. So I am going to use my first manoeuvre to move to here. Sorry, at the end of my go, whilst it was still my go, can yep. I use that mushroom yep. Yep. to get two stamina back? Yep. So my first manoeuvre goes to here. Mm -hmm. And my second manoeuvre, I'm going to open the crate. Gulp. Oh, bleed. Oh, yes. So actually, let's just undo that. Let's put the mushroom back there. So those were there. At the start of your turn, you should have taken that as damage. That's right, because I couldn't, I didn't, at the start of my turn, I don't get the chance to use that because it, presumably taking the wound, happened, the, the damage That's a very good before, question. Before I get a chance to do anything That, that is a good question. Start of turn, you take the damage. 
Then it's your turn where you moved and you shot. Yes. If you now use the Blight Cat Mushroom, it would only get you one back. And there's no point, because at the start of your next turn, you're going to take that as damage. Yeah. So I, yeah, so I won't. Yeah, so we need to get you healed. Anyway, I'm opening the crate. Here we go. Reveal and resolve a trap card immediately. <laughs> they're, they're not usually very difficult, though, are they? they... <laughs> Well, I don't know. <laughs> you get your fingers trapped in. Okay. You don't want the one that's got razor blades. You've got a Star Lotus. I do. Did, yeah. did, you, did you want to use the Star Lotus at the... End of my turn. No, because I'm just going to lose it. Okay, as yeah. A wound. Just next turn, you might want to use... Next Next turn, I'm going to be... Well, I mean, it, yeah, you might double manoeuvre and rest and stuff like that. So... Yeah, I might do that. Oh, look, razor blades. Oh, no. Oh. No, you didn't want that one. Oh, that's the one I didn't no, want. You didn't want oh, that one. Oh, no. No. It's a shame there's no enemies in my area. So, uh, it's all right. I'm good at mites. <laughs> one. So. How many do you need? I mean, that's five. Oh, no, I'm rolling the wrong dice. Two. Two. Ah! I'm on fire today. Oh, wow. It's only three damage. Only three damage. Well, you could use a crystal to to make it two damage, but mm. no. Let's have a bleeding card. Bleeding card. Bleeding wizards. Right. Anyway, that's that one done. No. 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 It's stuff in there. I've got to show off this artwork because it's amazing. Right. The contents are a strange assortment: dried meats of mysterious origin, a large, still warm, demonic eye, a box adorned <laughs> with a tentacle, <laughs> and a crystal. Is the smoke coming from the eye or the meat? So I gain a demon eye token. That's not going to be good. Okay, well, it's, it's, it's one of those. It's worth 10 gold. Wow. 10 coins. And a blood crystal. I'm collecting them. Yeah. That's my third blood crystal. And write mysterious box in the party journal. So we'll do Ooh. that off camera. So okay. I've gained these. I'm going to buy a house. Nothing bad ever happened opening a box that's got a tentacle on it. No, 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 no. So <laughs> it was radiating. <laughs> so <laughs> mysterious <laughs> box. Like <laughs> mysterious box. And again, you can put that in the app if you're using the app. That is my go. Done. I could use that, but no, I can't use that because it's. Yep, yeah, we're all done. I really hope no enemies turn up this round. I need one round just to. Mm. We we all need one round just to recover. Okay. Paul. Okay. Heal and hit it. Um, it's hit it. Oh. No, I'm going to heal it first. It's just going to be healing. Well, you only get. Oh, you're I hindered. Am, I'm hindered. You get two wounds back. That's fine. Two isn't the Because you're the opposite of normal people. Yeah. <laughs> I get that because then I can perhaps knock it out. So, two okay. strike. Two strike. One dice. One dice plus three. Plus three. So, how many tokens have we got left? How many achievement tokens? One. Yes. You don't need two stamina instead. Two stamina. Done. Two stamina. Five hits. It goes. It bit drops more, a coin. Bit more work. And you can immediately pick those up because they are in your Nice. Way. Yes. I've taken that too. Okay. Well done. Well, that noted as I fall on my face. You have a manoeuvre. Yeah. So my oh, no, you did the manoeuvre. I did the manoeuvre first manoeuvre. to get my... To get my so, Hill's just pointed out, this demon eye, as well as selling it for 10 gold, mm -hmm. instead of doing that, I could discard it to give all enemies within range one dominated. <laughs> you can dominate the enemies. So if I do that, then... They do another attack, and another enemy within range two takes two damage. But they basically attack themselves. Nice. Well, that seems like a lot of fun. I'm going to, I'm going to keep bring that up the, handy. Bring up the demon eye and say, yeah, take some of this. I'm going to keep that handy. So that's <laughs> interesting. So I can discard this to make all enemies within range one attack another enemy. Nice. Instead of their normal attack. Well, that would be good if you had a more grouped up. So on it? their next turn, they do that. Right. Okay. Interesting, interesting. End of the round? Yeah. It is? It, it is, yeah. Because we're, we're oh, It is a four. four. Like, what, what was mine? Sorry, I was red, wasn't I? I went first. Yeah. yeah. It's a four. 
Okay, so, so that is triggers the thing. Triggers the thing. So yeah. what happens is that stays in for the next timer. We read story one six seven. Did we need to choose our actions? This is end of round. No, it's the end. Yeah. So one six seven. More veiled gangsters enter the warehouse from the dark of night. You're not like the usual bunch of fanatics guarding this place. One of them yells at you. But now you will die for these stolen goods. Okay, so we reveal the second raid card. Now remember, these are random. So each time you yeah. play this scenario, if you mm -hmm. wanted to, they'd be different. Reveal cards two and five. Uh -oh. These are different, different yeah. enemies. Okay. So we are spawning. I think, I'm these, not sure. These well, are, these... we might need them. We might not. So we need to spawn Banjez. Yeah. Who is a shroud elite archer? He is an elite archer. So this is number four. He's coming in here. Oh, <laughs> yes, that's great. Um. Yeah. And we're also spawning a Razor Thug. So we'll have we'll have Razor Thug number two on here. And we're also having a Vespia. That's this one. So we're having Vespia number five here. So he's bringing like a winged creature with it. So we currently don't need those. So we don't need those. So, and there's only one of each. So just pop it maybe over here and we'll put the health on them. So, or just over there, because there's only one. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. So this Razor Thug is Razor Thug number two with 10 health. Uh, he's got 12 health. So we'll just, we'll just put it on him. So he's like a super archer. Yeah, it's a bit souped up. So he moves and stabs as well as shooting. So on a fully open eye, he moves and stabs. And the Vespier has got nine health. And there's only one Vespier on the map, so we'll just we'll just put it on there. What's a Vespier? What does it do? So a Vespier, uh, melee attack, melee attack, or ranged attack, shriek. Hmm. Uh, it sometimes flies. Okay. I'm guessing that means it can fly over the top of... It can. It can't end its movement on an area that doesn't have any dots in it. Okay. But it can move over them. The band the banjo has got nerve bomb, yeah, and snake area. Uh, one. It's five agility. If you fail, it looks very dangerous. <laughs> Green swirling. Yeah. Okay. Mm, willpower. So next round, I'm going to choose runic trajection, in the hope that that is still there. Before it's my turn. Okay. But if it's not, I'm not quite sure what to do. Because I can't get out without triggering the trap. And these traps are blooming dangerous. Mm -hmm. That's I, I think, I'm afraid, I might just have to leave you to it for a minute and use extra manoeuvre and take the damage and then bandage up and heal. Because I think by the time it gets round to me, I mean, you can do the rethink, but I think I'm already... Yeah. Or should I risk it? Should I do runic trajection in the hope that I get a shot off? And if I don't, I rethink. So what you're looking for is the green heroes going before... Red enemies. Red enemies. Which is on like one card out of 15. Yeah. I think, I, I think you're right. I'll do the extra manoeuvre. Okay. It's funny because we could cause them to trigger the trap. I think... If the hero does not try to disarm a trap or a non-hero ally or enemy moves into the same area as the trap, discard the trap token and trigger a trap. Yeah, it does. Right. It triggers the trap. So, uh, yeah, if you two get knocked out, I will sit in the corner and one of them will come towards me and it will trigger <laughs> the trap. Nice. Okay. Now, um, my idea for what I'm going to do is to do that move into here hoping that oh, i'm not going to go first am i because they're going to go the chance again the chances of green happening because what i was thinking of doing is moving into there using my cube of annihilation 
and then just um, nuking the nest. There's two in there? Yeah. There's three creatures no, in there. No, oh, just the two. There's, there's ba ba oh, there's treasure underneath. Banjahis with, yeah. his, with his razor thing. Because that would do three dice of damage if against I, both of them. And if I give you energy... Yeah, but that's a maneuver action to do that. Ah, okay. So I would have to move to there and then do a maneuver action to do that. Mm. But that's going to leave me mm. on zero mm. stamina with almost all wounds and also bleeding. I think your best option is extra maneuver, stay there, get rid of the bleeding, and heal up. But that means I'm going to be leaving. Um... Oh, yeah, that's the problem. Or you could just choose well, to strike. Has Banjas got? Oh, Banjas has got this. He's um, got provoke within range. Provoke two. range two. Yes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take. We are damage. in a bother bother. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with swift strike. And I might be using some of these. Mm -hmm. I'm using the uh, the lotus. At the Throw the scrap metal at him. Throw the scrap metal. Or we'll swallow the scrap metal in the hope that that does something useful. Yeah. I don't think so. But let's let's. I'll probably use the lotus to get some of these back. Having turned that into a wound from bleeding, I will use my maneuver to get rid of the bleeding. I will use the lotus to get some stamina back, and I'll shoot from range. So I think that sounds like a plan. Makes sense, right, Paul? Yeah, you chosen yours. It, yeah, I think I. Right. Yeah, just true strike. Come on, super initiative card time. Yeah, yeah. this is the time we need it. Come on. Yeah. Mm. But it is green heroes first. But it is green, I can go for Oh, oh should have gone <laughs> with the runic creation. <laughs> so it's on two of the cards. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, well anyway, I need you... I need to recover. That area is capacity two. That means you do not have to move in there to do a melee attack. Yeah. Okay, well, you've got to get I, I, need to the I need to recover. I need to, yeah, recover two first. Yeah, yeah, it's my maneuver. Then I do one dice. One dice plus four or three, plus, plus three. three. On who? Which, which one are you? Attacking? Oh, okay. Um, oh, one's... he's got armor. He's got one point of armor as well. Okay. So not him. I've got pierce. You've got pierce. If you yeah. Use the best okay. I'll go for the. I'll go for the thug. Which one is it? Oh, the vesper. Yeah, the vesper. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're plus three. So do you just want to do the three um, and save the stamina? Yeah, or... yeah, in case it hits me. Well, the thing is, if it hits you, having the stamina spent is the same as having it on there. It's no better. Is it gonna, when's it going to go? Yeah. That's true, isn't it? Mm. That doesn't help. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I may as well pay these. I may as well pay these and do as much That's as I cool. can. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Thank you. Because I would turn these over as the wound. Exactly. Yeah. So we've just done green for true strike, and you hit it, and you did some damage. Yeah. 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 So now it's green enemies, green enemies. which is Banjahis. Okay. Closed eye. This so is it moves move one. one. It doesn't need to move because it's, do, it's doing a range. flame arrow. Flame arrow range three. Yeah, so the flame arrow, it's range three, so it's going to go for you because nice. you're the closest, but it actually affects everything in that area if there were multiple things in the area. Yeah. Four damage. I forgot to move the cart out of the way so I could hide under the cart, but never mind. Four I, damage. I Agility check to negate. Yeah, here we go. Oh. Now that's not great for me. You've got an achievement. So you could use the achievement token to get one success. You need to, otherwise you're down. Otherwise, otherwise you're down. exhausted. Otherwise I'm down, aren't I? So one, and three then you take three damage. One, two, three. Ah. Right. That's not that was the clever. that was the flame arrow. And that was on green. Wow. Okay. Blue heroes get an extra That's maneuver. Me. You get yeah. an extra maneuver. So I've actually got three maneuver. Well, I take a damage at the start of my turn. Then I spend a maneuver. That's good. To bandage. Yeah. I then spend another manoeuvre to get two back, and another manoeuvre to get two back. I think that's probably my best bet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Blue monsters. None. None. Red enemies. Yeah. Ah. Two lots now. Okay, so... Ah. 
This is, where is, there an, is, is there an order in which we, they we go? We choose the order. We choose. If, if there are multiple enemies mm-hmm. on the same initiative, we yep. choose the order. But I don't think it matters. So we'll do, we'll do this one first to keep you alive a bit longer. Keep you alive a bit. So it's doing its close eye. Close eye. So it's moving Move two and two. doing a defensive blow. So it goes one, two. And it can't attack because it's melee. Okay, so that's that one done. The other one, however... Oh, it's a ranged attack. You're okay. It's not doing damage. Oh, what? Yeah. Move to shriek. It's shrieking at you. Uh, move to shriek. Yeah. So you've been shrieked at. But it would normally move to to get within but a it, range. But it's already within range. It can do an attack. So you gain that condition card. You are slowed. Wow. Wow, I'm slowed and winded. <laughs> oh, still my behind. goodness. But I'm, still, 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 uh, I'm still standing up. Um, oh, half a hit. Oh, oh. Yeah. Discard when resolved. So the next time you move... So the next time I move, you get one I fewer get one point. fewer. These are interesting. So they can actually go on the enemies yeah, as well. Yeah, you can do things to enemies. Wow. Yeah. Okay. You want to just pop that on here? On there. We can't quite see it. Yeah. Okay. Right. Do you want me to put the winded on as well? No. You can see that. That? Yeah. See that? Right. So that was red enemies. So next red, is red, red hero. Red glow coach hero. Here we go. Let's do it. Okay, so you to make a the swift damage. strike. Take the damage. Take the damage at the start of your turn. Use my manoeuvre to heal. Right. So you bandage. Don't well, yeah. forget your pet. Yes, we've got your pet. Then I will send... My pet. And you can, go, you can go one, two into here. And then when it leaves and then when that, that one, yeah. leaves. Or you can put it there, it's up to you. Will it try to, to attack the pet? It can't, can it? No. 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 no I'll move it in. Yeah, yeah, good one. So the pets don't take up any space nice. in the area, they can't be attacked. Nice. And they pick up treasure. No. no. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm going to shoot. And you've got your attack. So you could shoot. You could shoot any of them. I'm going to shoot. Um, the flappy the best beer. Best beer. it's only got four it's got four health left it would be obstructed one two three yes i'm in range yeah Instant. so it's obstructed it's so obstructed because there's something else in that area yeah. so it's two dice only two dice minus one success yeah and i'm looking for four successes so but i think i need two One, I can't. One, no, I can't, can't do that. Can't boost it. So that's it's one. Well, it's one, but minus one. Oh, zero. So zero. Mm. I'll spend a crystal to Is knock it, worth it down. It? Mm. Crystals are normally there to do that. That one that you need. That one that you really need. Final shove over yeah. the edge. Mm. Keep you alive. It's... No, <laughs> that keep you alive, crystals. <laughs> so that's my game. You're in danger of getting an injury as well. Wow. That's it. End of the round. Oh, the next time he's on 11, by the way. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I'm you were going to use some stuff. Lotus. Star Lotus. Yeah, nice. Two health. If you'd have done the Star Lotus first... You'd, you'd have had have, enough to... Could have killed it. Killed it. Never mind. One. Okay. Right. Next second. round. So I need to start pulling my weight here, but I can't see any way that I can get out without going through another trap. Going through a trap. Well, you, yeah. So I'm, I'm, if you go before him and you were there, is that I can shoot it from here? One. It's, it's range three. Can, yeah. One, two, three. I could, but again, the chances of me going before him. Yeah, because you're slower. Yeah. Mm. Even slimmer now because that card has come out. I'm just going to choose extra manoeuvre mm. and I'm going to heal up and I'm going to start moving around here. I mean, we don't know. Some, some. No, yeah, because more stuff's not going to come in this turn. We know that for a fact because the highest card in here is a five, and that would be ten, and it's eleven for the timer. Mm. Right. Have we all chosen? Um, Two strike. Not yet. I feel a bit like a punch bag, but I'm I'm picking away at my great all you can do. Yeah. Just stand in the, the way. The problem is you're on green. Yeah. Your attack is green. Yeah, it is. It's really slow. So it's a question as to whether I actually get that far. 
Well, Pete's got to do swift strike. We need you on red. Yeah. Okay, initiative card. Oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because these are these are pretty fast moving things. Here we go. Red enemies oh. first. Um, right. So if we do this one. This is a half open eye, so it's a move three. So it moves out of there and takes a damage. Yep, spawn damage. Nibble. All right, it then moves into there. Can it move into there? It can move into there. And it attacks. So red on the Slice. half open eye, uh, slashing, no, slashing blade. blade. Four damage, agility check to negate. Oh, agility check. And you've got your wooden shield if you needed to discard it to get three successes. And I can choose to do that afterwards. Afterwards, I believe. Oh, four. You're four. Oh, four. Wow. Oh, four. <laughs> no messing there. No damage whatsoever. Completely dodged out of the way. Yep. Unfortunately, the Vesper here is then going to move in and attack you. Yeah. Half open eye. Half yeah. open eye. So it moves in and it bites you. Three damage. Agility check negates. Well, three shields. Four Whoa. shields. Boom! <laughs> Take that, Mr. Vespier. What is going on? That's that's some decent shielding. That is very, very good. That's awesome. Dice rolls. <laughs> I'm alive. Still. Still. Okay, right. That's red enemies done. Blue enemies. No. Red heroes with an extra manoeuvre. Okay, nice. You've got two manoeuvres. No, swapping weapons. You can do it once on your turn for free. Okay. So, out with the bow. In with the ceremonial. So in in with the bow. No, uh, yeah. Out with, out with the bow. Bow's out, spear. spear's in. With Pierce. Who's got the armour? Mr. Banjahees. So, stabby, stabby, stab. Uh, with the ceremonial spear. Yeah. Uh, Gets an extra damage. Oh, so Phil has confirmed you have to decide if you're using the wooden shield first. Okay, thank you for confirming that. You okay. took a risk and didn't and <laughs> rolled four. Okay, I'll know next time. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to stab him with the spear. Yeah. For four damage, because I get plus it's one. It's straight four damage, down to five. Um, then you have I two manoeuvres. Don't forget to move um, your pet. Hindered. Oh, yeah. You are hindered. I'll move, the, I'll move him into there. Uh, into your into space. There. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yes. There. Um, so you could heal one and heal one, or you could move out of the area, taking provoke. You'd provoke him as well. Yes. So, so you'd actually take two damage. Yep, two damage, and then I will recover two. So recover you're actually two. no better off. Whereas if you stayed there and did two heals, you'd actually get two back. I'm just thinking if I'm here. Oh, he's not going to move though, is he? No. Mm. No. So I might as well stay I there. I think you're okay. Yeah. yeah so if you stay do there. two. Two hindered heels. Two hindered heels. Yeah. You're also you're also obstructing the uh, archer, aren't you? With yeah. Staying in there. That's true. Yeah, Is that's the true. pet obstructing the archer? No. I don't small. believe so. Oh yeah, Banjahees provoke ranges two. Ah, uh, that's a good point. Yeah. So it's not quite. You're three away. So if you did move out, I don't know whether you want to. I uh, it's up to you. So if you moved out, you would take one damage from this one, but then you would heal two. So you'd end up on three rather than four, but you'd be here. Actually, that might work because then when this moves out to get to you, it will, it take, will a take a damage anyway. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. And also I'm thinking that I've got my spear, which has got a, a range of one. Range of one. Yeah. Yeah. So do you want to do, it? do that? So you move out, which provokes this one. Take a damage. Then you heal for two. Heal for two. So you're on three. Right. <clears throat> that was red heroes. Blue heroes is me. 
So I have an extra manoeuvre. I've, I've used my extra manoeuvre, haven't I? Because I. Yeah, you attacked, you moved, and then I and healed. then you healed. Yeah. Yes. That's yes. Right. Yes. That's right. Yeah. So I go. I mean, we got this as well. I'm at, I'm at as well. While I'm walking past, I'll do a normal movement. I'm do a normal movement. Yeah, I'll do a normal movement. I'll have a go. Uh, I've got the shovel. So plus one success. Oh yeah, I'll have the, I'll have the one. Have the one from the shovel. Yeah. I'll just I'll just bash it while I'm walking past. That was one, two. And I'm actually going to heal. Because then next round I can go one, two. Mm. Oh, no, in fact, I'm within three. One, two, three. So don't you I'm actually within it. three. Yeah, one, two, three. So I can start zapping from here. Yeah. yeah. If I'd have known that, I would have attacked this turn. Never mind. Never mind. Right. Uh, Banjajas. Next. Yeah. And it's a half open eye. So it's a move to. It's a targeted target shot. shot. Range three. Agility. Now you are one away. You are two away. And they do go for the closest enemy. And they would go for taunt anyway, wouldn't they? Uh, yeah. I'll play a taunt. So what's coming in? Four damage. Four damage. I need those four shields. How many crystals have we got? None. <laughs> I need okay. four shields. So you need a double six. I need, I need, need, a double, I need six. double six. Otherwise, yeah. I'm laying down for a rest. But I get a double six. Hey. Look at that. That's why you have dice in a game. <laughs> hey. Unbelievable. That's no way you do that. Unbelievable. But I've got bulletproof vest. If you roll that again next turn, that you get straight to jail. That's two, that's two lots I've done. That's have, four sixes in a row. I think you have to go to jail if you roll that again. <laughs> that's incredible. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the CGI graphics that we're using to make this video <laughs> exciting. Is, is that there we go. No. no, you get no, to go. I get to go. I get to retaliate now. Heal. Heal. Well, heal? Why would I bother doing that? Yes, definitely. Um, I'm going to recover three. Two, because you're hindered. I mean, you could attack it first, but no, you probably but I can want use that. the stamina yeah. to attack it. Yeah, now I attack. One, plus three. Dead. So dead, doesn't drop any loot. So that is that gone. Can we remove the... Uh... Yeah, gone. Oh, I'm doing this great work. I'm just hanging in there. Oh, can I have a little go at the... <laughs> oh, you might as well have a, have <laughs> a go at the <laughs> thing. Shit. You're unencumbered. Un un you're un not un hindered needed. anymore, but you are still minus one because you're winded. <laughs> So two dice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, two dice. Two dice, but minus one on the success. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, there's, there's two. How many do I need? Do it. No, How if you had three stamina. You... If you had the stamina, you could have done it. But I've yeah. got two stamina. No, not enough. No, not enough. Okay. Not enough. Right. Okay. End of round. Yeah. That was a good round. Is it the end of the round? I'm exhausted. All right. It's three. So we are on eight. It might tick over next round, but there is only one enemy left, but it is the boss. Two enemies. No, two enemies. Two enemies. I've got that one. one. We need him to move out and take a damage. Okay. Um, well, I've got some stamina. I am going to choose Runic Trajection. Although the thing that I was going to attack is no longer in range, so... Now, I would take, I would take damage if I move in to attack, wouldn't I? Uh, you would. One, two, three. No. One, no. two, three. Yeah. Three, four. So th they're both out of range of you. I, I might have to set this trap off. <laughs> Would it be better for me to channel you then? No, you, you just need to... Well, unless you want to move away. Well, I'm going to take damage if I move away, and I've only, you know... Uh, yeah, but... Mm. Do you see what I mean? I mean... I do see what you mean. We don't know where the next ones are coming in. These ones came in here and here. Yeah. So if the next one is going to come in here, we need to get you... Get, a, get out get of the way. Oh, we need to kill him. I mean, we need to kill him, but he's, he's on 12 health and he's got one armour. Yeah. Okay, well, I can stay there. I can do my two strikes. But you can't two strike from where you are. No, which means I'll take a damage to move in. Mm. Which means my manoeuvre won't be to recover. 
So is it worth? So I was, I was, I was thinking of channel just, energy. Just recover so and channel way, energy. Get out of the way and give somebody else two extra dice. Yeah, mm. yeah. That's like nice. Pete with his ceremonial. I'm going to shoot it. Yeah. Or me. Or I could shoot that one. Yeah. And try and kill it. It give you two. It gives you two more dice, which is could be enough. It yeah. could. Okay, we're going to do channel energy. Yeah, we've never used it before. No, but... let's do it. Right. So I'm when it's my turn, I, I decide who gets yeah. it. But you want it, Pete, don't you? Yes, please. Yeah. Initiative card? Blue enemies. No. Red heroes. Red heroes. You channel the energy. In whatever order you want. To. Come on, then. I'll go first, so I can give you this. Right, you would like some energy. You can, you can discard that to get two more dice. Yeah. Uh, then I'm going to heal. Get um, out of the way. Or move out of the way. Yeah. If I move out of the way, I take a damage. Could just heal. I could just heal my just heal. It's not as great, then. but I'll be back onto stamina, so I'm yeah. going to do that. Okay. Yep. Right then, if you go, Pete. So I could shoot him, or I could shoot him. Mm -hmm. Um. If I shoot him, I've got a very good chance of finishing very him off. Very good chance of finishing him off. off. If I shoot him, I won't. But he's our biggest threat, isn't he? And but he's going to go next. Um, and he's he's got the horns. So actually, he's doing that with that. He's just moving an extra one. It's fine. It's not going to make I'll, shoot, I'll shoot this one. Is he? Um, I mean, he's on five. Is he? Is, is he doing a ranged attack? He's not now. This one. Oh, that usually is. Uh, he's going to go right at the end. He, yes, he is. Okay. Target each shot. Okay. Which is going to be on you, and the worst he can do is four damage. And, and you've got four. Oh, okay. Okay. So oh, okay. So I'll shoot him. No, I won't. I'll stab him. With. You don't have your bow, do you? Yeah. I've deselected it for yeah. that. Well, the, the ceremony of the spear is better. Yeah. At range so it, does one. An, it does an extra damage. So it's it's four dice plus one with Pierce. Which he doesn't need, but. So the, the token goes back. One summer is that? Yes. Energy channeled. Hang on, four. How many did it have? Half five. Drop to loot. Okay, nice. Uh, so that was my shot. <laughs> Have you still got a manoeuvre? Still got a manoeuvre. Mm -hmm. So I will. Now I could move into here, which means that... It would be obstructed. Any attack would be obstructed. By him. Yeah. Would... And in fact, you could take it instead of Paul. But... Yes. Which might be a good idea. Or I could heal for two. I think heal for two at this stage. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Well I've got I've got full health. I mean if it yeah. hits if it hits me <clears throat> before, then it then hits you're still me. Okay. Yeah. I'm still I'm still gonna be okay. Uh, no, I'm gonna move in. Yep. Do you wanna have a go at this while you're oh, cool. since since you're there? Yeah. Might is good, isn't it? For you? Two, oh, no, I've two. I've got two dice. Yeah. I need five successes. Yeah. That's two. Well, that's two. Oh. Three, four, five. Five! So we flip it over. <laughs> Matter Jam, first attempt, just says, hey, get this card out of the way. <laughs> oh, provoke one. Yeah, so when you moved from there oh, yes. to there, yeah, fair enough, you would have taken a damage. Yeah. Fair enough. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, look. The way is open. Ah. Let me slip through and do A0. You'll get ah, but if you move, don't forget your I'll get a Yeah, so provoke. provoke. But that's not too bad. So you all done? Yes. Yeah, I've, I've been. Yep. So he's uh, now. That's red. That's gone. Uh, now, red enemies. Oh, I should have stayed there. I just realised why. There's no red enemies left. Blue heroes. Oh. Green, Green heroes. heroes. So I am going to move. Sorry, can I just move him back in? Yeah. I am going to move normal movement. I'm going to move two. One, two. But when I go through there. Oh, I can attempt to disable it. Yeah. 
Might as well try that. It's a, it's an agility yeah. test of six. <laughs> okay, two dice. The the traps. Boots. When you move in, they may try and disarm the trap. Yeah. Have I disarmed it? Four. No. no. I mean, close. If I spent four stamina on the gem, that's five. That would have been five. Yeah. Okay. So, what is it this time? <laughs> Don't be razor blades. Where's the last one? There you go. You shuffle them in. Razor blades. Okay. It is <laughs> fire burst. With fire. So actually, that's yeah. So oh. it's close. Whoa. Area of one. Five damage. Agility negates. Five. Ouch. Ouch. That was a bad trap. That's why I did all of the healing first. Right. That was a bad trap. So the fire burst goes off. Does the trap disappear? The trap is gone. Thanks for that. So right. I can go through safely now. Yeah. Um, I've got one movement left. So I go to here. And then I'm going to zap in with You're my... You're in range. Range. You're in range. I'm in range. Yeah. You're Unfortunately, it is obstructed because you guys are in the way. Even though I shout duck. Yeah. So if I wanted to... I could spend these three blood crystals right now to get five dice. Yes! For 15 money, though, isn't it? Five dice is pretty good. Um, On 12. It's not going to kill it, though. Is not it? enough you've to kill a, it, though. You've got a chance. You've, got a chance you've only got two stamina left. Two stamina left, so... I mean, he's, he's on green. So he, you, you two are going to get a go before. Mm. Oh, we've, been, we've both been. Oh, he's about to go. Yeah, he's about to go yeah. next. What's he going to do? He's going to do the ranged. Oh, yeah, but it's only three damage now, Max. Um, no. Only three? Yeah. Well, to me. Yeah, to it's us. obstructive. Yeah. Yeah, just going to do normal attack. Okay. I will spend two, two stamina. For four damage. That's four damage. Minus, minus one because it's obstructed and minus one because of his armor. Yeah. So we're on ten. Okay. Right, and suddenly I've got none of that stuff left. Mm. Right. Now he goes. He goes. Half so, eye. yeah, he's going to do three damage. It is to you, but you could jump in the way if you wanted to, but I don't think you want to. No, I don't. I'll, I'll heroically let you take all the damage. Yeah. Three damage, agility check to negate any damage. So, two One. damage. So, two damage. It's all right. It's okay. All right. End of the round. Timer. Two. What have we gone? Five. It's ten. Ten. Time is eleven. 11. We got away with it. Yeah. We got away with it, right? Yes. We have one round of grace before the next lot of enemies arrive. So I am runic rejection. I am switch strike. Channeling energy. There's no for you. point me empowering because that gets stamina back and people need healing rather than stamina. Uh does it help me for channeling you? You might as it doesn't matter who you channel. Because it is two extra dice. Yeah. So I'm going to stay there. Yeah. Because I can recover this. Well, right. yeah, I can recover these two. Your aim shot is only on a, a ranged weapon. Yes, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. done. Then we're good. Oh, the super duper. It's the super duper card. It is. Oh, oh, oh. And we go first. Right, who would like some channeled energy? Yes, please. Give it to There we go. Uh, then I'm going to do a recover, which would be three, but... Hindered, so two. It's not hindered. There's no enemies in there. Just friends. Oh, okay. I, I can't do any more than two nope. anyway. But but you've got a you've got a spare manoeuvre. I do have a manoeuvre now. You want to go and have a look at a? I, yeah, yeah, because then I take I'll take I'll take one provoke. You'll take one provoke when you move to there. Yeah, but then you can go I can to go there. there. Okay, so this is the last card. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Well, that's the, it, it's a closed crate. This crate has a strong magical aura indicating there is something enchanted inside, or perhaps the copper itself is a magicanism of some sort. It may even indicate a sorcerous trap. So you can break the crate open. We need 11 total successes. And if you've got a crowbar, plus two. Okay, I, dis I discard this. I get one less movement. I needed to have paid three. Oh, that's true. Yes, which you I will were... do. Which I can do. So you paid the stamina to I move. I paid the three. stamina to move three because minus, then I minus, minus one, yeah. which is two, and that goes. Slug. That's fine. 
That's good. All right. You're minus one, though, aren't you? Because you're winded still. Uh, um, this, yes. For that one, yeah. So you are at one dice. No, two, two dice. Two dice, yeah. Have you got a crowbar? You want a crowbar? Okay, plus equip, two for the crowbar. Equip the crowbar. Minus one for the winded. So it's two dice plus one. So it's three. It's three. If you wanted to spend a stamina, it could be an extra one. Yeah. I could, well, I can do an extra two, couldn't I? Yeah. I'll do two. Okay. I'll do two. They're not wounds. Yeah. Right. They're, uh, they're not, not two, just that's, thank you for that. <laughs> I'm so used to doing that. That's <laughs> down to six. I'm so used to being hit. Okay, down to six. Right, so that was that was you on red. You're also on red. Okay, I will heal. Heal for two, and then poke him with the pointy stick. Poke him with the pokey stick. With a ceremonial... Penis. Right. Ceremony with extra two pierce. dice so with four pierce. dice with pierce plus one and it gets rid of his armor. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Yeah, a way to mess with them. Six. What the heck? Um. And two more. Seven, eight, eight. eight. nine for the spear. Nine. Ten. Ten. Yes. Wow. And he drops three coins dropped. Wow. That's the boss. <laughs> Fabulous. Right. Yeah, gone. We get rid of his guard. He's not coming by. Goodbye. Okay. And I get an extra maneuver, don't I? So what did you do first? You I healed, healed and then once. you shot. Yeah, you've got no, an extra maneuver. It. Okay, I'll oh, just stroll into there. I'll get some you sure? You sure you don't want to heal again? More baddies are about to turn up. Are they? Yeah. Uh... And they'll probably turn up in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, um, do I want to heal or do I want to? Up to you. Uh, get those three back. Okay, <laughs> well, we've not done this for a while, but I'm going to rethink because I can't do that. So I do my two maneuvers. So one, two, and then I'm going to rethink and just have an extra one of it's one of those back, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And you can use these as well when you're healing to heal an extra one. It's another use for these that we don't often do, but okay. you can. I think the round is over. No enemies on the board at the moment. So we reshuffle that back in. Do you want to do that? Because we do get a timer. Oh, it's a five. Five. Now, what Ooh. that means is Ooh. the next timer has started on a five. Speed. It's going to be speedy. Which means we don't have much time. <clears throat> so we read the third, the third raid card, which is two eight one. Uh, it is near midnight when one more group of Razor Vespiers stormed the building. Careful, one of them says. The Stable Crown has found powerful mercenaries, heedless of the warning. The gangsters attack. So we have. Reveal card four. Okay, so it's an elite thug. Oh, it's got 15 health. Wow. You can put it on there. And one armor. And two. And two, two provoke, provoke, but melee provoke. Right, so we're spawning uh, Gallim of Ambergate. Oh, he's down here. So he comes in here. We're also spawning um, a razor arrow. So number two. Razor arrow, not yeah. the razor thug. Uh, I think there might be a thug as well. Well, he, he can. He can stay there. No, there's two razor arrows. Two razor arrows. No more thugs. Okay. So there's the razor arrows. Let me just ping that. So. Um, So number one, with eight health, and number two, also with eight health. So yeah, a circle there, which is a razor arrow, razor arrow, and Gallim of Ambergate there. And if we were four players, there would be another one there. And the timer is 12. We're already on five. 
So we have a, a minimum of two rounds left, maybe more. And our objective is to kill all enemies. Right, okay, so next round. Okay. Choosing of actions. Well, got to be runic trajectory. Can I hit anything? For, yeah, I can actually hit something from where I am. One, two, three. So, I'm thinking I'm and they're going to be coming that way. I think so. I'm going to stay in the corner and mess with the crate. I think that's probably the safest thing to do. For me. Yeah. Recover and then... Certainly for this round, see what's in there. Yeah. Can, I, can you channel energy again? I, I could. Yeah, I yeah. could. I could do that. Are you going to be able to, to attack? You... you are, aren't you? Can you move and have a shot? Because I can move here. Um, in fact, I could shoot from here. But I'm probably... I'm... So... Yeah. From where you are there, one, two, three, four away. Yeah. I'll channel energy in them. That's fine. Yeah. So you're channeling energy. I'm reading trajection. You're swift strike. Here we go. Swift strike rather than aim shot. The the thing with aim shot is there's a chance that I might go before his channel energy because if we're both red, I'm then, red. then mm. I guarantee that I'm going to get the extra die. Right. But if I go blue, I might be out of sync with him. Yeah. But is blue usually slower than red? Blue is usually, usually slower, slower than red, than red. But not always. Oh let's 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 risk it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Blue is much slower than red. <laughs> so red heroes first. Yeah. So channel energy. Thank you very much. Channel energy. Nice channel. Uh and that's then your action done. My action. I'm now going to got a maneuver. I'm gonna do I've got a maneuver which I can do recover. Recover two. Two. Can and then you, can you, not get this and then you can have your then re check on this. Yeah. Which is. Mind check. Mind so check. You're still minus one because you're two. winded, but you're plus two because of the crowbar. So two dice for the plus one. That's one, two, three, four. Another die. No, minus it's... one is three. So it's three, three at the moment. At the moment. Four. Four. So it's down to two. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Minus. Not bad. That's me done. Might be another trap. Might kill you. Yeah, hey! <laughs> I'll put my vest on again. Right, so that's red heroes. Red enemies. We have no red enemies. Green heroes is me. Hmm, that's interesting. So I'm going to do my runic trajection on this one. One, two, three. It's not obstructed. It's not hindered. It's not anything. That's three. Three. Three damage to number archer number one. Five. And then I've got a manoeuvre, I'll heal two. Right. Green enemies. None. Blue heroes. Right. Here we go. Here it is. Now I could I could do movement three at a cost of stamina and go one, two, three. To pick up the money. Yeah. It's a lot of money. It feels as though it's worth doing. So you run into there, pick up the money. And then back into here, and then here. Yeah. Um, and now you're. And now I can shoot. Yeah. So one stamina to do the aim shot. You are one, two, three away. No. It um, is obstructed because there's something else in there, but you are on five dice. Now, am I going to shoot number two or number or uh, the big I guy? Mean, the big, the big boss. I think the big boss because he's got one armor. So because mm. it's got the armour, one big attack is going to have more effect. And then when I'm face to face with him, I can use the... Oh, I've got the spear at the moment, so I yeah. need to deselect the spear and select the bow. Shift yeah. around the equipment. <clears throat> Put the bow back in. I end up sticking a torch up my nose. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do too many things at once. Um, so, yeah. yeah. I'm, like, I'm not going to do 15 points of damage, but I might just do 8 on the other one. I'll finish him off. Whilst I'm thinking about it, I'm going to send him over there. Yeah. In fact, I could pick him up and then release him. Or can I? No, I don't know. Never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll just do that. Yeah. Um. So that's let's let's shoot the big guy. Yeah. Five dice. No uh, minus one because of the obstruction. And minus one because of the uh, armor. Uh. And minus one because of the armor. Two. 
So one, two, three, four. Um, just just re-roll that one again. Well, convert convert a one into a two, and then re-roll that one. Okay, it's the easiest way. So that's five. Okay. Uh, is that with the minuses? No, it's not. Is it? So it's five minus two. So well, it's it was three. It was, it was four because I, it was one of those. Yeah, we've we've not minus for the obstruction in the armor. Yes. Yeah, so so it's, it's, so it's three damage at the moment, and then you can spend stamina for extra if you want to. The problem is they're going to come in and shoot you. Yeah. I need to have something available to soak up. But as, as, as we said earlier on, when you get hit, having yeah, them there or true. there doesn't actually matter. Two more damage. Two more damage, you're down mm, to ten. Mm, mm. Okay. It's good work. So that was blue heroes. Now it's blue enemies, which is all of these in any order. So we do these arrows first. Yeah, that's number one. So number one goes, what's it's doing? Half closed eye? Half closed eye with, with, with the horns. Oh. Oh dear. Um, which is move two, oh. then range two, three damage plus pierce. So it's not within range two of me at the moment. So it has to move to here, but now it can shoot me. Well, that's okay, because you've got the most... Um... Yeah, except it's... It's got the horns, which means it's piercing, so it's going to be bleeding. It's three damage. Bleeding? Yeah. Bleeding, yeah, as a result, yes. Oh, one damage. So, uh, you can use a crystal. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's So a here, here's, here's the question. Uh, this is a rules question. From what Phil was saying earlier on, do you only take the bleeding if you take damage? If that's the case... I think the answer to that was yes earlier on, wasn't it? It was It was earlier on. I don't know if it applies here. If it applies here... It if you take to no crap. damage, you do not get bleeding. Yeah, okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So I've rolled two shields. I'm going to spend an achievement token to get three shields, which means I don't take any damage, which means I don't take the bleeding. Perfect. Yeah. Nice. Number that's two. very good. It's range two. So it has to move to here. And then it does the same. It shoots you. Okay. Doesn't count as obstructed. This doesn't get in the way. And what am I rolling for? Uh, it's agility. And you're taking three damage, three damage with, 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 with potential aid. bleeding. I could use my shield. That, if, I, if I do it's that, gone. it's yeah. gone completely. Gone completely. Forever. Yep. I, I, okay. They don't make them like they used to. <laughs> um, no, they don't. How many damage is it doing to me? The three. bleeding will be one or two. At the moment, it's three damage. Three damage. But you have to choose first. Mm -hmm. All right. I will use the shield. Okay, so you don't need to run. Because it's plus three. Oh, is that the way? It's, it's plus three. It three, three extra dice. No, it's oh. three shields. Yeah, I will use it. Yeah. I will use it. So, okay. yeah. roll. so you hold the shield up. Yeah, nice. Whack, whack, whack into nice. the shield. Yeah. It's too much of a risk from bleeding. Then this one. So what's he doing? Blue enemies, half closed eye. Three movement. Three movement. He's got blade blitz yeah. and impact. Push one. That's an effect I've not come across before. But it goes one, two, three. Taking a damage. Takes a damage. Place. Takes a nibble on the way. Yeah. And then it's attacking you with a blade blitz. So four damage. Agility, agility check to negate. Right, I'm going to use my shield. Oh. Oh, where's that one? <laughs> Been bit on the floor. Ah. Right. So two damage. Two, two damage and push one. Now, I'm going to guess what that does. <laughs> Pushes but, me by one spell. Yeah, we, we've not come across these effects in the rulebook yet. Move it the number of areas shown directly away from the source of the push effect. Directly away means that each area it moves to must be further away from the source of the push. Mm. Uh, it may be moved across either single white lines or double white lines Ooh. if moving from an area of higher ground to an area of yeah. lower ground. Yeah. If it's moved across an area of a double white line from an area to higher ground, then unless it has fly, it falls down. Yeah. If it's moved into an area that causes an effect to happen when moved into, such as a trap, then that effect is triggered. Can't move into an area that is at maximum capacity. Um, large and huge allies and enemies may not be pushed. 
and the push ends. So I think you move one away. So we've got a choice of three spaces to move into. Yeah, the question is, do you take the provoke damage from that? Okay, it does get the provoke because you're being moved. So. Okay, well, I'll, I'll move here. So you take provoke from this. Yeah, so I take a point of damage. Yeah. And a provoke from... Surely you don't take the two provoke from that. Why not? Because oh, you know yeah. What? Well, that would be really bad. Looks like you do. I think so. Wow. Okay. I mean, Phil says it has moved, therefore it does take the provoke. Yes, he that, says. That seems, oh. that seems very wow. much damage or... That's three damage. <clears throat> yeah, three provoke damage. Okay. Push is very nasty. Okay. So I take one. And um, now you are wounded. So you flip that over. You gain that amount of stamina back. It's all gone a bit um, tough now. Have an injury. Recovery is at minus one. Okay. Lacerated. Mm. Could be worse. Right. It I think that's ended. it. I think that's the end of the round. Okay. So, timer. For three. So, this next round could be the last one. Mm -hmm. Right. So, question. Yeah. If I open a crate and it's trapped and I die, do I get to keep what's inside the trap? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Because you're not dead, you're just exhausted. <laughs> right, exactly. So, I'm going uh, gonna... <clears> to <throat> choose Rune Extrigation. Anybody like some energy? I don't think we're going to do this. I don't think we're going to kill. All of these three enemies. In one or two rounds. We're in one or two rounds. I don't even think we're going to kill them in two rounds. But Would you like some energy? Can I move him into there? Oh, that's, it was his it's attack. It's on your turn. Yeah, his attack. Yeah. Right? So you're going to channel energy. I'm going to channel energy. I'm runic trajection. Are you swift striking? Yes. Here we go. Oh, uh, it's them first. Yeah, blue enemies. The boss goes first. Well, we can choose which one. Oh, yeah, okay. If it matters. <laughs> oh, we can do the boss first. Mm. So, half closed eye, move three, move three. blade blitz. Blade oh, it's the same as it did last time. Yeah. So, it moves into here. Yeah. Um, nasty, that is. It's going to attack it. <gasps> it's nasty. Four, four dice, agility check. And push. Oh, pushing again. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Right. Ouch. Which means. Yeah. Four. So one, two, three, four. And it pushes and, and does the push damage. One. That's me. Where's you gone? Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. Oh. Because that push provoke causes the provoke damage of that, which means you're out. But we're definitely not gonna do it. I might just run away. Okay. <laughs> uh and then we have the archers. So arch number one. No push, no, no push as no pushes, no horns. Oh, right. Sorry. My bad. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. No push. Yeah. We're all okay. Yeah. We're all okay. Right. But we're not yeah. all okay, but. Well, okay ish. It can, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not, not the push. It's not got the horns. No. Right. We're still going to run away. Now the, um, arrow, now the arrow. Yeah. So this one, half closed eye, shoots me. Oh, it's this thing again, isn't it? Yeah. I might be bleeding. Two. Another crystal. I could, but at this stage, with all of this, True. I think I'm probably okay. Yeah. So I'll just take the one. For the length of time we're going to survive. And I'll take the bleeding. Yeah. 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 It's only one per turn, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Okay, this one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, so it moves to here. And from here, it can attack either of us. You've got a taunt of four, I've got a taunt of one. I can't choose to take it. It's only if you're in the same area can you choose to take it. If you, oh, um, no bleed either. Thank, thank, yeah, no, no horns. So no bleed. We're just getting carried away with them. Uh, oh, we are. We are. So I've got an agility to check to save myself from how many damage? Three. Uh, it's 
Blue, half closed eye, it's three. Okay. I need three successes. Three right. successes. Well, at least two successes or an egg. Can I quickly put my armor on now? Uh, one success. Yeah, not enough. Oh, hang on. It was three, wasn't it? It was obstructed. obstructed. So it was actually two, and you rolled one success. So one one token will save you. Yes. We forgot the obstructed yeah. when it was... Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. So yes, it was obstructed because... The, the, uh, there's something else in, in there. there. Boss is still in there. So it was only two. You rolled one shield, one token. Mm. You're still alive. <laughs> and it's your go next. Okay. And I... I've got that token, retaliation. I've got that token that I just gave you back when I was knocked, knocked over. Yeah. So um, I'm well, I, I haven't been switch yet. to the spear. Uh, I mean, I you, you. I haven't been yet. So I I go before you. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That was his attack. That token was from last time, was it? No. No. No, I, I got confused. No. Right. Okay. The blue the blue enemies. Yeah. Have have just yeah. been. Have we done this enemy here? We have. It shot okay. me. So we've done all the blue we've enemies. We've done all the enemies. Now it's red. So yeah. it's us. So I go first because right. then I can give you the channel energy. Okay. And you've got a you've got a this as well. And uh, you've got a maneuver. Can, uh, and I can have a go at that. So I'll do the maneuver first, which is just to recover my last one. Yep. Okay. And then I might check. I might check. So again, two. two dice plus one. Actually, isn't it better to do that? Wrong dice. Uh, wrong dice, sorry. Beg your pardon. <laughs> I mean, you've done it because you only need two successes. Yeah. So we get to see cost, what's in the crate. Cost you a stamina? No, because he's got plus one success. Oh, right. Okay. You got minus one success for that, but plus two because of the crowbar. Ah, so yeah. you've done it. So it's a net plus one. Right. Ah. Way. The crate is lined with the sail of a riverboat which protects its strange contents. Ooh. There is a small, colourful bottle inside, and next to it, a cage holding a Nazag centipede. The venomous vermin mm. vibrates vilely. The venomous vermin vibrates <laughs> vilely. <laughs> so you gain item card. <laughs> Do I really need to? <laughs> 71 and 68. They're very illiterative, these critters, aren't they? <laughs> so 68. Thank you. And 71. Even the card back looks dreadful. It's 71 is horror, a pet. Horrific. I've got a void extract. Okay. And. Which is illegal, by the way. You found a piece of illegal oh, item. I found an illegal void extract. Okay. So you found uh, this. Which is a, a, a trained illegal pet. It's a Nazag. I've got two illegal. Cargo. There you go. For this. I, I promise I won't turn you in to okay. the authorities. How about this? My void extract. Do you want to know what it does? Go on. I need to remember I've got this as well. I can discard to yeah. defeat a non-elite enemy. I don't know quite what this means. Does this mean I take poison? Ah, right. So what that means is that you can you can put that on an item that has a thing poison thing in the corner right so I you see. can't use it itself okay it is something it's used to add to, to enhance okay another, okay like nice. a dagger right yeah so i could actually enhance the enhance this guy the Nazag. uh no it's it's an icon in the corner i don't quite know how Nazag okay. works right. well, but we can we can we'll have a look at that, that. yeah okay look at it later i'll put that i'll put that in here okay now that's it you're done so you did your channel energy you did your maneuver <clears throat> And you've done that test. So, Pete, it's you next. Right, my swift strike. First of all, I'm going to. Uh, no, I'm not. You're First hindered. of all, I'm, I'm I'm going to hit him with my spear. Yeah. So, um, well, that two dice be... for the swift strike. Two dice for the channel energy. Channel energy. So it's four dice. Plus one. Piercing through his armor. Yeah. Yeah. Like four dice plus one. This could do it. This could do it. Come on. Did you want to? Oh no. Yeah, because if you recover, it's two minus one because you're hindered, and minus one because you're lacerated. Yeah. That's why I need to kill him first. 
if I need to kill him, then I can recover. Otherwise, yeah, yeah. it's all over. Uh, one, two, no. Oh, oops. That isn't going to do it. So one, two, plus one. Yeah, three damage. Down six. That was not a good roll. What did you roll? Lots of stamina. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, we've been extremely lucky in certain aspects of tonight. <clears throat> and yeah. Oh. Oh, a cube of annihilation. That's that's one off being a gone, isn't it? Does it do damage to you? The manoeuvre to do it. And you have a manoeuvre. So you're gonna let off right. a cube of annihilation. So all enemies within one of you take three dice. That's him. It's him. Go on. The stamina symbol counts as two successes. Oh. Whoa. So you've done five. Five. Six. Achievement yes! token is a six. Can you use an achievement token as a six on that one? Phil will tell us. Ah. Oh. I'm not sure you are allowed to use a stamina token when doing this, but I think you are because that's an attack. That's discarded to do an attack, and you are doing an attack. So yeah. I think you can. Bang. Wow. Fabulous. See you. He's gone. I'm afraid Does that's the gallon of Ambergate. Oh, he drops three treasure. Which you then pick up. Which I just happened to catch with my other hand. <laughs> just yeah, it's a magic attack. It, and he's falling over. It's a magic attack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that yeah. was an expensive... Awesome. Um, wow. Awesome. It was expensive, but I think... Oh, who, Worth it. Oh, why not? Right. So, red heroes are all done. Red enemies, no. Blue heroes, no. Green heroes, me. Yes. So, well, I've got my runic trajectory. Um, let's just go for this one. Number one. Yeah, he's on five. A couple of dice. Ah, so this is the point... We do decide to do that, and then if we did a concerted effort on that one next turn, we could do it. If we if we, we get if we it. get good on the turn, mind you, we're after twelve, aren't we? So if you can move onto the, this space, then it uh, we we both protect each other. Yeah. Well, then if you did so, then if he then fired, yeah, it exactly. wouldn't automatically be me that got hit because you no. got. I mean, I would take two points of damage from moving to there because I yeah. provoke both of these. But you can soak that up. But <clears throat> so the question is hit him because he's nearly out. Or... I am going to use a blood crystal. Right. Okay, so no, I get no. one extra dice. Come on, Zoe. Going for this one. Oh, oh well, look I've, at that. I've done it. Done it. Yes. Nice. So five without needing to spend any stamina. So that was dead. Drops a coin. Drops a coin. Right. So... Are we saying that I should move to here, yes. provoking? Yes. Because it makes it more damaging for him, for the enemy. I mean, that might be it anyway. It might be. That is the end of the round. End of the round. So depending on this card. What's, what's the trigger number? 11? 12. 12. Okay. <laughs> we have another round. It's possible. We could do this. It's possible. Yeah. We could absolutely do this from... Snatching victory from the jaws of defeat yet again. Come oh, on, we do need to do this. Right, I'm I'm doing really trajectory. I'm gonna swap across. No, no, I don't need to. I can. It's not a... your turn yet. Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah, that's what I'm going. Yeah, to. you do it on your turn. Okay. So um, I'm gonna do. I'm channeling energy. Strike again. Okay. This is working well. Initiative card. Is. Yeah. Here we go. Just let this be the super duper card. No, but However, you two are going we go first. It. Right, so would you like some energy? Yes, please. So you channel energy. Channel energy. Your manoeuvre. Come in here. I'm fine. I might as well. Come in here. Yeah, I'll come in. Come and join one, us. One, two. It's a normal one. Party time. Yep, that's it. That's me. Would anybody like anything while I'm here? Hi, this is Paul in the editing room, and something occurred to us after the playthrough that we could have done here. Now, we didn't, but it is something that we could have done. Paul had with him some poison item that he'd picked up. That could have been given to Matajam 
and then Matajam could have used that poison to enhance his bow in order to be able to do a poison arrow attack. So yeah, that was one of the things that we could have done, but we didn't. Uh, I'll shoot him. Four dice, plus one. It is just four dice plus one, isn't it? There's no obstruction. Yeah. Uh, before I do that... And obstructed because we are in the same space. You can get one back. No, it's only enemies in your space right. that would get in the way. Yes, yeah, so you can recover one health. It's worth it. Remove an injury. Which is your recover. I mean, you could. This is one, that's right. Mm -hmm. Or you could sell that for five gold and then... That's yeah. true, because there is can a place... Can you buy the healing, can the fifth eye, but yeah. you can heal the... Yeah. But do you want to recover one first? Um, yes, sorry. That just makes sense. That might be the one that pushes it over the edge. Right, let's see. Oh. Yeah. Ouch. I don't think it's going to be the one that over the edge. That's three. three. It's four. Three hits. Because I'm, us I'm, I'm using the bow. You're using the bow. So it's three. So that's three hits. One, two, three. Potentially four. Yeah. Potentially five. Four. Yeah, four. I'll do just four. I'll do. Uh, who else is shooting at me? I did ask you if you wanted oh, the void extract, but never mind. Hmm? I did ask if you wanted the void extract. No, we've, we've nothing to put How many dice have the you bow. Got? Yeah, I don't know if you can slot it in the middle of the fight. No. Uh, how many, how many dice are you? I don't know. How many dice are you? I'm going to roll in two dice. Two dice. So if I use that, that'll just. If you use it. that, you're going to need three. So what's it on? It's on three. You spend a stamina to make it four. Yes. That puts it down. That makes it a five. So it's, it's on three. On three to go. <clears throat> So you need three hits. Uh -huh. But it's going before me. Okay. Because I'm green, it's blue. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So what's it doing? Huh. So it's, it's shooting. Range. Range two. We yeah. can choose who takes it. Okay. Do you want to take it? I'll take it. I don't mind. Okay. Definitely. So you can do it's yours. It's three, but it's reduced because it's obstructed. So it's two damage coming in and it's agility to negate. There we go. No damage. Yes, because it's hindered. Hindered. Obstructed. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so my go. I will use my manoeuvre. Yeah. To get those two back. And then I will use my runic projection. Yes. This could be. This could Can be. Use a crystal. I don't need to. I don't need to use a blood crystal because hmm. I only need three. And it's you guaranteed should get two. It. And if yeah. I miss. Yeah. Done that. So that's one, two, three. Two, three. Dead. Boom. Shouldn't have used my manoeuvre. I should have saved my manoeuvre to go in and get the treasure. Uh, oh, yeah. Although, there may be a rule to say you can pick up the treasure at the end. Phil, can, can you pick up the treasure at the end of the scenario? Does it work like another famous... Fantasy cooperative dungeon crawl again. Maybe if we turned over another. Well, we'll see. Timer. So the if round, we had another go. The round is over. Yeah. Uh, 12. That's twelve. So that that is it. We did it just in the nick of time. <laughs> wow. Uh, unless the scenario says otherwise, yes. Oh, so we can clear up so, the. Uh... I'll have two. I've got no, two. Got you got one. <laughs> Thank you. Right. So we read. Yes. Outcome 74, or conc conclusion on page 74. Scenario of success. As the clocks of the city strike midnight, Kalen returns with his crew. They find the corpses of the shroud gangsters on the floor, and you realise uh, and realise you got more than you bargained for. As the others load the bodies and crates to their wagons, Kalen approaches you. Thank the stars you're all right. Had I known the shroud would attack, I wouldn't have left you alone, but it looks like you held your own. You confront him about being an outlaw, a traitor to the Republic, and a pagan. Aye, we've been called all those names, although we in the Sable Crown prefer to think of ourselves as friends of the Republic and her people. The true traitors are the lecherous major's nobility who oppress the common folk. As the outlaws leave with the stolen goods that you guarded, Talon pays for your trouble. I might have another job for you later on if you'll work with the likes of us. I'll see you at the Govron. Heaven protect. 
You leave the warehouse and walk back through the shanty town of the Northgate district, wondering what new mess you've got yourselves into. <laughs> Each hero gains five stars. So have some money. Thank you, Kaching. Go. Thank you. And we gain one reputation with the sable crown. So you again, you can mark this on the on the city sheet if you want to by putting a little sticker on here, or you can track it in the app. I'm going to make a note of that. I'm going to track it in the app because I don't want to put a sticker on there because I'm playing this with another group. Yeah. Um, but once we've put three on there, we get to read a, mm -hmm. a paragraph and things like that. Uh, and once you get to that, you get a special ability. Anyway, conclusion. If any hero has the Moncoon story card below their player board, that's me. What's this? Oof. Cute critter. So I read 119. There is a name and an address carved into the Moncoon's collar. The owner lives in the secular bank. It's a nice house by the round market. You knock on the door and a burly servant opens it. Once he recognises the animal, he lets you in. You are served wine and cakes as you wait for the Moncoon's owner in a drawing room. Amongst other valuables, there is a clearly magical cube sitting on a shelf. Eventually, an elderly Nitigri noblewoman enters the room. She walks with small, delicate steps. The Moncoon immediately runs to her and starts licking her tail. On this day, the stars shine upon me, the old lady says happily. What boon would you ask of me? So I can either ask for money, ask for the magic cube, or tell her that helping is its own reward. Ooh. I'm going to ask for the magic cube because we've just seen how a cube of annihilation and last yeah, time a cube could, of teleportation it, 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 saved our skin. No, they're good, these cubes. Yeah, well, they're they're must, or, or, well, the last two we've seen. Well, the, fact that it, the fact that it's offering us the opportunity to take nothing suggests that that might turn out to be the better outcome. Yeah, I'm going to ask for the cube. Okay. Is it? Uh, you ask the lady for the magical cube on the shelf. My stars, that belonged to my late husband. He was a warlock of the inner circle, you see. I'm not sure I can part with it. One hero makes a will test. So shall I do that? Because I've got three. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that sounds good. Right, that's, that's automatically a two. So I've got four. Six. Can I spend two stamina? No, I can't. I don't think you can spend two stamina at this. Oh, no, that's a two. Yeah. That's, that's a two. Six. Three, four, six. That's six. Success. You convince her that it's time to let go of the past. Gain item 50, Cube of Annihilation. Isn't that just the thing that we just... We just used one. That we just used one. Oh, there we go. If you have the mysterious box. We do. Yes. That's one with the tentacles on it. Yeah. You try to pry the box open with force, but it does not budge. Oof. You try every magical means within your power, but they are equally useless. Besides, the contents could be fragile or flammable. You do not want to destroy them. The box reeks of evil Aox magic, and it's not very pleasant to be around. We can throw the box away, we can try to sell it, or we can keep it. What do you want to do? This is the one that's got the uh, smoke coming out of it, and it's, yeah. and it's radiating. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, that one. Well, most boxes that radiate and smell... If, I go, not stand, good fun, if I go and stand behind this wall, can you open it? <laughs> no, we've tried everything to open no, it, we just can't open yeah, it. Yeah, we no. can't open it, so we can throw it away, try to sell it, or keep it. I think we should vlog it to some I unsuspecting person. I think we should keep it, because it might turn out that later on... It's actually good. Yeah. Yeah, okay, you can be the one carrying it, you've got four arms. I'm gonna, are we keeping it? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I'm happy to be outvoted on this, but that, that's what... I, I think we should keep it, and then... We, um, and, uh, Matter jam should put it in the backpack. But then, of course, it could, if it is really, really nasty, it could kind of poison us. But why was it there? Why did somebody keep it in a box? Well, maybe it was put there to get out of the way because nobody wanted it in I their think house. It, it must be valuable in some way, otherwise, they wouldn't have put it in a warehouse in a box. I mean, and it was tucked away out of the way from there, everything yeah. else. So, I'll keep it. We're keeping it. Give it to Matter jam. <laughs> you wrap the strange box in an old towel and hide it in your bag. Perhaps one day you will find a use for it. So we cross out mysterious box and we write locked box into your party journal. Locked box. Yeah. We also shuffle city event 24 
into the city event deck. Oops. So we go to the city event deck. Um, the one with a picture of a nuclear crater. Well, it, it says <laughs> that the event is called Tentacle Box. So at some point in one of our future adventures, I'll do this later, but we take okay. City Event 24 yep. and we shuffle it into our City Event deck. Nice. Right. If you tamed the Vespia, we did not. No. So the Vespia that was in the thing. Right. Okay. Yeah. Achievements. Explorers, all story cards revealed. Yes. So we yes. all get we all get an achievement token. Right. Plunderers, did we open all of the Gramask crates? No. No. Respectful. No Gramask crates were opened. No, no, we did get one. Short work. You defeated all enemies at least one full round before the scenario ended. No. 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 <laughs> Cut off the head of the snake. <clears throat> an elite enemy was this is an individual. An elite enemy was defeated, and your hero dealt the final damage to it. I think. Did you kill both of them? Um, we might have to check this back on the video later. Yeah, I think you might have done. I think both. you you killed that I one definitely. definitely. Killed that one. So that's one. Oh, and I did the uh, the elite archer as well. Yeah, I? I thought so. So you yeah. get you get two. Yeah. Beast tamer, your hero succeeded at a will check and story card B. No, that was taming the the Vespia. Lucky break. Your hero fully succeeded on one or more checks on a trap card and so avoided suffering any damage, losing stamina or gaining a condition. You did that. Did you manage to do that without getting a trap? No. No, you did it using a... Using a... Did I? You saved yourself from bleeding. Well, only from the arrows. Um... There was the razor blades. Yeah. Which hit you and got you bleeding and hit me and got me bleeding. Right. And then there was a fire burst. Which just dealt me damage. I don't think I avoided the damage. No. No. Okay. I don't think okay. so. Right. Fine. If somebody wants to watch this video back later and tell me if we <laughs> if we did that, but I don't think we did. So that's it. That's that's the achievements okay. done. Right. Yeah, nobody did that one. The bleed yeah. Okay. So that is it. That is the end of Wow. Scenario four. That was another skin of the sea. Skin that was teeth. another Phil's very Phil's much words, skin of your skin teeth. of the teeth. Now you two do have injuries. So that those injuries are going to carry forward to spend some money to the next time. You do flip your thing back and you do get your eight stamina back, but the injury is is persistent. Yeah. Until we go to the Yeah. So that is the end of today's session. Mm. Mm. Next time in video five, we're going to be doing another city step. Still mm. level one. Yeah. Then we're going to be doing it. We're going to pick another scenario and we're going to pick scenario six because that gives us the other experience point. We will then play scenario six, and then the next session is going to be longer, because at the end of the next session, we're then going to do what would happen when you get to level two. We're not going to do any more beyond Leveling that, okay. but I am going to show you what happens when the characters get to level two, because you get to choose a profession and all sorts of other stuff on mm. block. Um, but yeah, that's, that's everything. So mm. thank you very much to you two for joining us. Thank you to everybody who's been watching. Uh, and yeah, like the other videos, I hope this has helped you see how the game has played out. I think a lot of people are probably going to watch this video after they've played this scenario themselves, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. to avoid spoilers. Um, but I've played that scenario twice now, and it's still enjoyable both times, and it, it does play out slightly differently. Um, I'll tell you later how ours went last night. But yeah, we're all done for today. So yeah, thank you very much, everybody. As always, give the video a like, leave me a comment if you've got any thoughts on it or if you've got any questions about the game, and we will see you next time. Cheers, everyone. Bye. Bye. -bye.